back everybody uh, i'm gonna be talking like this the whole stream I hope it's okay just kidding <laughs> hope everybody's doing well oh that kind of hurt doing that fake cough <laughs> i hope everybody's doing well oh my god i shouldn't have done that okay so i got a big massive jug of water next to me so i shouldn't be coughing too much but uh yeah it's great to be back Everybody's doing well. Hey, Acoustic. Hey, Robster. Hey, Evan. Hey, Rinka. Hey, Adams. Hey, Druber. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Let's uh hop in the server. Here we go. Um, yeah, yeah. God, I I have not done an actual session of DayZ since my last stream. I'm not even kidding. But I'm doing a lot better now. <coughs> I might actually cough a couple times. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> you made it. I knew it. <laughs> hey, Chrissy? Oh, my. Our screen's messed up. Let's see if I can fix this. Bam. Okay, it didn't work. All right, we'll fix it once we're in the actual server. Uh, yeah, it was, um, it was a rough last couple, uh, days. Or last, a rough, a rough week, I should say. Oh, wait, I just realized something. All right, give me a second, guys. I got to deal with something real quick. Oh, wait, actually, never mind, never mind. We're good. We're good. All right, I just had to kill myself there. Um. Oh, crap, I just left the game, didn't I? Yeah, I uh, didn't set all this stuff, this stuff up. I should have done it before the stream. Options, video. Switch this to full screen mode. Bam. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, let me raise the audio as well. There we go. Yeah, all this is um is unchanged from my uh, last stream. Just had to come in here and fix it. All right, we're good now. Uh, yeah, Rink, I'm doing great. Doing great. Hope you guys can hear me. 
Robster 500 with the 50 euro donation. Welcome back, Nades. Wow, man, I really appreciate that donation. It means a lot. It is good to be back. But thank you guys so much for uh, for being patient, waiting for me, and all the time I've been gone. But uh, we're gonna get back at it. Don't worry. Wow, Robs, I really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate it. I've been supporting the stream for years, dude. It means a lot. Oh man. All right, we're getting started here. This game audio is really loud, isn't it? Let's turn it down just a smidgen. That's that's probably good. I gotta be able to hear myself talk. That's the best part of the stream. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not that arrogant. Yet. <laughs> Alright, we need to find... Well, first off, we need to remember how to play the game, because I haven't played in like a week, so... That's, that's my excuse if I die in a dumb way today. Looks like we spawned at the Suicide Lighthouse near Cherno. The suicide lighthouse with no no dead bodies for once. Let's go check up here. Fifty euro pound dollar donation. Yeah, I I get all the I get all the symbols confused all the time. I don't know why. Like I know them, I just under pressure I can't remember. Ah. Uh, oh God. I'll switch out of this T-shirt. Not a bad start. Actually, real quick, very important. I need to pick up that shirt because I do not want to get sick in the beginning of the stream. We need a cutting tool and we need to cut up the shirt as fast as possible and make gloves. When you get sick like in the beginning of the stream, that is the worst. It always happens when it's raining. Hey Samuel, how's it going? Hey Ben, glad you're back. Ah, oh, thank you dude. Glad to be back. I guess I'm just gonna have to make a run for, uh, for, the, for the coast, or for, for the, uh, for some houses or something. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to just make a run for it. I'm gonna head into Cherno, actually. I'm gonna do a southern run to start this off, but, um, I gotta get clothes first, I don't wanna get sick. The plan today is... I wanted to try to, like, um... I want to find a sniper weapon. Maybe uh, a Blaze or a Winchester. The only place we're going to find those is going to be the castle, so... Maybe maybe some of the... Maybe out west I could maybe find one in, like, a, a summer camp building. I don't know. We'll see, but I want to go on the hunt for one of those. Just trying to think. Where's the nearest castle to where we are? Oh, there's Zub Castle. It's going to be kind of tricky. Um, we didn't get a good spawn for that. Let me run up to these houses real quick, see if I can find a better jacket. I do not want to get sick here. No problem, buddy. Glad you're okay, and thanks for the video and going live. Oh, thank you, Roster. Yeah, I had, dude, I had to get that video out. I wanted to do the full video, but I knew it would take more, it would take it would take me a little bit longer to finish the whole video, so I just decided to do like a, a part one and a part two. Part one this week, part two next week. Then after that, I got another video. Oh, gosh. So much to do. Alright, I'm literally gonna squeeze out my shirt right when I get in this house. That was damp. We can't squeeze it out. Alright, I uh I should have done some some kind of warm-up of day Z before just starting today, shouldn't I? Warn, warn, let's what are these? Wet. Let's switch them out. I'm not taking any chances today. Okay, good, good, good. We are not getting sick. Bam, bam, bam. Hello, watching your content for almost three years now. Very good. Keep it up. Keep it up all the way from South Africa. Ah, uh, thank you, Ryan. We are going to keep it up. We're going to keep it all the way up. Yeah, I am, uh, I'm like, I'm ready to grind this week. Like, I, I've been away from this game for too long. I feel like I've missed out. I'm really glad we got sick this week and not uh, next week when the experimental's coming. So I'm going to play the crap out of that. 
We're gonna literally beat 1.19 before it even releases the stable. We're gonna beat the whole game. And cover all the clues. Matter of fact, later in the stream, if I can remember to do it, we should watch the um, the new trailer for 1.19. I think they posted it on Twitter. But yeah, we're streaming tomorrow as well, and um, I want to—I'll probably end up switching maps tomorrow. But uh, on the first day back, I wanted to stick with want to stick with Cherno. Oh, dude, a train. Oh my god. Dynamic train spawn. We gotta check this out. Might be some good stuff. Aussie Adam Bricks. Thank you for the three Australian dollars. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks for the donation. Can't even survive in Daisy one day. <laughs> Honestly... I, it's pretty rare for me to even survive a single, like a full day of play session. I even then, it's hard for me to do it. Now I have a hundred thousand hours in this game, so don't worry. You know, it's not really even about staying alive. I mean, it is. It's more about the journey to stay alive. If that makes sense. <laughs> Has this been looted already? I cannot tell. I see a tent over there. Low insulation. Everything's low insulation. I literally can't tell if this has been looted. There's a car tent there. Oh, a bunch of dead zombies. Okay, it has been looted. Somebody here. Unless they die to the zombies. Is there a dead player here? No, there's not. Okay, so... Oh, dude, I gotta grab this. That's my favorite shirt. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go into Cherno. That's the plan. I need to get out of this rain. It all was infected. Uh, let's, uh... Let's head up to this house up here. I'm gonna do, like, a loopy loop. Go up to this house, and I'll do a loopy loop this way. Get up there. That's the plan. <laughs> Welcome back, Nate. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. Ah, oh, thanks, Lindsay. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. A lot better. I might not sound the best. I might cough a couple times, but it's just... Like, I don't have coronavirus anymore. Just watch your tower day one. Great. Ah, oh, awesome, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, part, part, um, part two is coming next week. It's gonna be about the same length, maybe a little bit longer. It was already gonna be a really long video, so dividing it up into two parts, I think, was necessary. Hey, Dirty Digger, how's it going? Can we play together? Uh, one day, for sure. One day, for sure. I think today, though, I'm just gonna go solo. It's my first day back from DayZ. Like, I have not played this game at all. I haven't even been adminning on the server at all. I wasn't really under the weather. <clears throat> and we had some uh, family things that happened. And we had some cat things that happened. <laughs> it's been a pretty crazy week. How's the bunker coming along? Oh, very good. It's the same. <laughs> It's coming along the same, which I guess is very good. Hasn't been breached yet. Except by, uh... I don't know how COVID got in. Still a mystery to me. So it must have been that I already had it. And... I don't know. Maybe the DoorDash dude brought it. I really don't know. But I'm just glad we got it out of the way. Okay, why did I say I'm coming up this way again? do a loopy loop, but I don't know. Oh, we could go up the hill here. I just don't want to stay out in the rain too long. I'll get sick. Does this actually do anything, wringing out your clothes while it's raining? I don't know, but, um, 
<clears throat> I've been thinking of, I've been thinking about Daisy a lot since I was gone and the main thing I've been thinking about is like my how I need to play a lot more intelligently in this game. I just try to I need to focus more on staying alive than I than I do getting actual kills. Even when streaming. And I, I realize that streaming is all about entertainment and and stuff, but a lot of people watch this expecting expecting like tips to play and they want to see somebody play smart and, and stay alive and they want to learn from it, so I've gotta to remember to actually to actually not just play for entertainment and and killing people, but I gotta I gotta actually try to play it the correct way. That's what I'm trying to say. For those people that are looking for instruction. Plus it's a lot it's a lot better just to not have to go back to the coast every two hours. So that's what I'm gonna try to start doing. I'm gonna try to start playing a lot smarter. Being more patient and not rushing into gunfights and playing dangerously. I don't know what's happened to me. Like the last it seems like the last like few years I've just I used to be like the most cautious player ever. The last few years I've just kinda lost all patience. <laughs> and I just run right into combat. <clears throat> hey Tom, I missed you too, man. <laughs> Leo, thank you, dude. For the five pound donation. Really appreciate that man. Really appreciate it. Oh man, I missed all you guys so much. I've been thinking about streaming so much. I don't know how long we're going to stream today, but um, we are going to be streaming tomorrow for sure. I want to do a really long stream tomorrow. I'm just hoping my voice can handle it. Can handle the uh, the longer streams. Okay, we're at the top of the hill here. Look for looking churro. Oh, a gun. So yeah, the plan today is um, I want to try to find a sniper weapon and just get geared up, and then from there we'll have to decide what to do. But finding weapons and gear is what we need to do first. Uh, let me bring out all my shirts. But I'm gonna head down into Cherno City, which always has some cool action usually. From there we'll see what we'll do. I'm just gonna take uh, take baby steps. Live in the moment. That's the plan. <laughs> Let's try not to break our leg here. Isn't there a town this way? I swear to God, there's like a town like right up there. Could maybe check that out before going into Cherno. But I want to do like the, um, the Cherno, uh, the Cherno run to the prison to all those places, and then Zelenic Gorsk eventually. And if I'm still alive, survive all that, then. We go up to the southwest checkpoint. Hey, where the heck are we? Getting off the beaten, beaten trail here. Catfishing boys, welcome, welcome. The scene, hello. <clears throat> thanks, thanks to your stream, I've made two really good friends, Tom and Henry, and they've helped me loads in Daisy. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Hey, Tober, how's it going? That is awesome to hear, though. Daisy friends are friends for life. This rain is just pouring down. Yeah, but there's a town just up the hill here. I'm hoping that this that these trees will at least partially protect me from the rain. I don't know if it works that way. I believe it does. Just gotta keep our uh, gotta keep from getting sick. That's the most important thing. Help your voice with juice, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have water. No juice on me at the moment. Huh. <clears throat> For horse dewormer, or what have you. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Lazla. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. For the $10 donation. Horse dewormer. That sounds like the kind of thing that it would have a lot of uses. I don't know what they would be, but it's like it sounds like one of those weird things that somebody would have in their survival pack. It has some like secret use. 
Why you don't streaming last two weeks? Oh, Hussein, I had I've had COVID the last uh, the last week, and I just got rid of it a couple days ago. I just I didn't quite feel like streaming uh, Thursday, so I'm gonna stream today. So there's the town I was looking for. All right, let's ring out our clothes again. We do not want to get sick, guys. Gotta keep doing it. <clears throat> yeah, I got COVID for the first time. That's literally. I made it all the way to 2022 without getting it. Everybody in my family's had it twice, and I haven't had it yet. I, am I family friendly? I would say so. I'm very family friendly. If you can find... Uh, there's only one video I think I've ever made where I actually say a curse word. If you can find it, I'll be very impressed. <laughs> it's only said it briefly. Yeah, we, uh, we gotta keep it PG for the kids. We gotta keep it PG. What's weird about COVID, though, I don't know, like, I'm sure everybody in this chat's had it already. But what's weird about it is, at least the most recent version, which I guess is Omicron, some kind of variation of Omicron, is, um... The symptoms are constantly changing. Like, one day you'll have a symptom, then it'll be gone the next day, and then the next day you'll have a different symptom, and every... And you'll just have one symptom at a time. That's how it was for me. Okay, so day one of my COVID was... I just... My, my chest... I just felt pressure in my chest. That's all it was. Like, I, I was sitting at my desk, I coughed one time, and then I felt pressure in my chest. And I just knew immediately that I have it. That's all it took. Like, oh, yep, I got it. I got it. Turns out I was right. Felt that pressure in my in my chest, in my lungs, whatever. Um, but it only lasted like a couple like a couple hours. There's a base here. It only lasted a couple hours, then it went away. And I woke up the next morning and I and I was just exhausted, like I had really bad fatigue. No more chest pressure, no more weird lung pressure. No difficulty breathing or anything. Wow, what an amazing base. Look at that. Nobody will ever get in here. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh... The second day, I, I was just very fatigued. Then, um, the fatigue kind of went away, and I got a headache after that. And that stayed for, like, a little bit. Then the next day... <laughs> weird how it works. And then the next day, I did I was not fatigued anymore. My th I had, like, a really sore throat. And just every day, it was a different symptom. It's the weirdest thing. But I, the sore throat was so bad, though. It was oh, it was horrible. But it was really only three days of, of that I was actually miserable. That I could like I didn't sleep for three days. After that, I was fine. I was able to sleep. I still had a sore throat, but I kind of got used to it and it didn't bother me anymore. And uh, I'm good ever since. Just cough every now and then, but it's not like a painful cough or anything. It's I I, got, I think I got lucky. I didn't I didn't have it too bad. But apparently the newest version of COVID is not as bad. I'm just glad I avoided the first iteration. The part one, COVID part one. Need to hit up that well in that hunting store. I'm only dressed like this because uh, I don't want to get a, don't want to get sick. I've had it three times now, and each time it seems to get worse. Really? Oh God. That's scary. I always heard it was the opposite, like it gets better every time. <laughs> but it, it's different for everybody. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I'm very friendly, family friendly. Never had coffee. I'm excited. I like both of my parents had it and they, they lost their taste and their smell. A couple days after they were, they didn't have it anymore. So I'm kind of hoping that I lose my taste and my smell so I can try some foods that I that I haven't liked normally, like coffee, for example. I've never had a full cup of coffee in my entire life because I hate this taste of it. But it might be my chance if I lose my taste. I still have it currently. <coughs> you also haven't had COVID yet. Oh, scrub. What is the secret See, for me, I just, like, 
In the beginning, I just washed my hands like a madman. Like I, I didn't even get, I didn't even get a cold or anything for like a year, for like two years. I was just, I had such an, I had the most insane level of hygiene that's humanly possible. But then I kind of got used to it, and then coronavirus stopped being in the news, and I let my guard down. I then I got it. You gotta keep your guard up. That's the secret. See now I'm so paranoid because I don't want to have to miss streaming again. So I'm literally wearing a mask when I sleep. Okay, this mess tin. We need to take that. Carry some water in it. Need to go back over to the well. But yeah, this um, it was only bad for three days for me. After that, I was I was good. Thank God it stopped there. So we saw we saw there was somebody down by the train that I was checking out earlier. I haven't seen anybody in this town yet. But this town's usually fairly empty. There's not a lot of people come through here. There is a base over there though. But for the most part, this is a good town to loot. It's one of the best towns to loot, like right when you spawn, actually. Let's check all these houses. There's nothing in the hunting store really. Yeah, the plan is we're just gonna try to get geared up and we're gonna move through through the south and do a southern run. And then if I die, we'll just see where I spawn and I'll figure out what to do next. I don't have any specific area I wanna get to, but I do wanna get it I do wanna get a sniper weapon of some of some kind. Last time you had COVID you were fine, but the other like four times it was really bad. Ah, Yeah, it's just, it's so different for everybody. It's really weird. Losing your sense of taste sucks. I don't know. I'm kind of interested. I know it's gonna suck, but I'm I'm kind of interested. I'll I'll probably be like, all right, that's I've had enough after the first like 30 seconds. <laughs> I just kind of want to experience it, see what it's like. I am kind of glad that I got COVID though, in the end, because now I can kind of relate to people. Like I, 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 like, I would just be sitting there in conversations having no clue what to say when people were talking about it. They'd be talking about their symptoms, and I'd just be, like, sitting there like, uh, Yeah, it's a nice day out today, huh? <laughs> so now I can actually relate. I can contribute. Okay, did I say this town was good for looting? I don't know what I was talking about. Need a knife. Actually, wait, this is a knife. It's a screwdriver knife. <coughs> Some crumble cookies are like eating sand <laughs> without taste. Uh. Does sand have a taste? Oh, I have a very good sand story, by the way. I should say it. When I was a kid, um, in, uh, like, kindergarten. This girl that was in my class, one day at recess, she took a huge pile of sand, and while I was like, I don't know what I was doing, but she threw it directly in my eyes, and I went blind for, like, for like a week. It was crazy. My, eye, my eyeballs were filled with sand. I don't remember it, really. I just, I, rem I remember uh, not being able to see anything. And I remember I had I had to wear like these big eye patch things with um it was basically rags filled with water. Oh my god, nails, that's a rare sight. Let's grab those. I had to wear like these two eye patch things like covered in water. Soak up the sand or something. I don't know what I, I can't remember I was so young, but I had a fear of sand for a long time because of that. Because anything that happens to you when you're a kid, it it like, has a great influence on who you become in the future. I'm not afraid of sand anymore, but... I don't like sand. It's coarse, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Hacking away. Hey, Buggy, how's it going? Have you checked out the Black Rain Rifles? I have not, I have not. I remember you asking, somebody asking about that. 
Not yet done it. I don't know. My my whole life just took, was like in a standstill for the last week. I've it, literally all, nothing's changed. Like I'm still living in last week. Oh, let's switch out the hat. It's a little bit less less inconspicuous or conspicuous. We don't. We still don't know the difference between those two words. Unconspicuous. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like this hoodie. I might keep the hoodie. It's just medium insulation, but I want to keep the hoodie. This is one of the rarer ones, too. I don't think I've ever seen it. Actually, it has a bit of white in it, doesn't it? Let's switch. Let's switch, because I, I don't want to wear anything with white in it or gray or anything. It sticks out too much. Bam, bam. Oh, my inventory skills are a little bit lacking right now. So I'm so not used to playing. <laughs> it left you hanging, Bogey. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I had to get it out. It, it was taking too long. Part two will be, be out next week, though. All right, that's good. All right, so we looted this town. We got some decent stuff. I did find that jar of, of food, but um, still no gun. I'm going to head down to Churdo now, if I can remember where it is. I think it's this way, towards the sun. Yeah, it's this way, I'm pretty sure. See, before it gets dark, idea. Before it gets dark, let's just grab a long stick in case it gets... In case we can't see. We can make a torch. I'm going to go back into that house and grab the... Grab those rags, actually. In case I need to make a torch. It's a lot better than just using a little light. When you were a kid, you used to eat dirt. <laughs> Coal and worms. Oh my god. Full course meal. I don't know if when I was a kid I used to eat weird things. I... I've always been freaked out by any kind of food that's not normal. For whatever reason. It's ever since I had that... Wait, what's that? Craft of Shamog? Oh yeah, I didn't know that we had that in the server. I forgot. Yeah, I uh, ever since when I was a younger and I opened a bag of Doritos and it had like mold and spider webs or whatever inside of it. I've told that story before. Ever since that happened, I've been very cautious about anything I eat. Like, I, I have to look at, like, the expiration date. I gotta do all this stuff. I'm very picky. Like, I will not eat... A, I will not even open a bag of bread that's that has the sell-by date <laughs> one day later. <laughs> Just because I'm so paranoid. Oh, man. Eating that... Like, I took a bite out of a Dorito that tasted like a piece of leather. And ever since then, I, I've just been like that. I don't know why. Glad you started another series. I watched tonight, mate. Aw, oh, it's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, we got, um... We're finishing off this current series with the next two videos, and then we're... With the next video after the one I just posted, and then we're gonna start the, the new... The new form of video. I'm gonna be doing a weekly video, um... So far, it's a weekly video. Occasionally, if I get, like, insane footage and have a lot of time on my hands, I might might do multiple videos a week. Wait, we're going the wrong way. I can already tell. What does this sign say? Okay, Electro's that way. I don't speak Russian. I guess we go this way? Which way is Cherno? Wait, hold up. Okay, I know where we are, I know where we are. Uh, do we really even want to go to Cherno? Maka left because just up here. Yeah, we do. We need to get gun we need to get a gun. Let's go this way. We gotta get a gun. I know where we are now though. Just gotta go straight. Stay on this heading. <coughs> no insects on a stick. <laughs> Nah, I, I've always been grossed out by insects. My brother was the one that, uh, 
was the weirdo who loved insects. He used to he used to like dissect caterpillars and stuff at recess. It always that stuff always grossed me out though. Like the goo the creepy crawlies and the gooey the gooey stuff. I don't know. Where I went to school there was like in the in the recess area, like the playground. There's these really tall trees that overlook the, the, all the, the play pits and all the, like, the jungle gym and everything. And, um, the big kids would come out to the playground we were all playing and they would take a basketball, throw it up into those tall trees, and literally thousands of caterpillars would fall from the sky like it was raining caterpillars. And all the little kids would go crazy and start collecting them and grab them by the handfuls and put them in their pockets, take them into class, and... I don't know how we got away with this back then. <laughs> anyway, my brother was like a weird psychopathic killer. He would, he would like squish him just to see the guts and like dissect him. <laughs> it was weird. It was really bizarre. <laughs> I never did that stuff though. It, it always grossed me out. <laughs> no, he's not a doctor now. He's just a, a normal weird. He's a normal weird person. I almost said that. Nah, he's... He, he turned out fine. I think. But how how well can you really know ever know anybody? I don't know. I think he turned out fine. I don't know. He might be a secret serial, serial killer. I don't know. Those were the good old days. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was just curiosity. I mean, it's no different than what a, what, what like a, I don't know, like a biologist would do. Kids are weird, though. He did a lot of weird things like that. Like, we would go to the beach and go to these, um, like, seafood restaurants, and he would take the crab, the crab arms, like, get the meat out of them, then take the crab arm, the crab arms, put them in his pocket, and bring them home. And play with them. He'd play with them in the car. Like literally a crab's arm that's been cut off its body. He would like pull like the little lever thing and the, the crab's claw would like close down. Weird. I grew up with four older brothers that they found out that anything bothered me they would poke it relentlessly. <laughs> Yeah, I we tortured our little brother as well. There's three. I have two brothers. I'm the middle. I'm the middle one. We would torture my youngest brother. With that kind of stuff. All right, here we are. I feel bad though now. Now that I'm older, I feel bad. If you're a parent and you have and you have three three kids or more. Make sure that the, the youngest one doesn't get bullied, because it's going to affect them their whole life. There's a guy down there by the well. I don't have really, really anything I can fight a dude with. Yeah, let's just go check these houses before he gets here. I don't know if this guy's friendly or not, but... If he has a gun, then I'm not going to be able to fight him. Let's just avoid it. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to check these houses. Let's go over this way, check these houses. <laughs> on the next episode of Dexter. Uh. Body! I hope I said your name right, man. But thank you, dude, for the donation. Love your stream, bro. Keep it up. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I really appreciate the donation. Thanks for supporting the channel and the stream. <laughs> Once I start streaming, I hope to start getting more subs so then I can start getting paid, but I only have 50 subs. Hey, 50 subs is not bad. Everybody starts everybody starts somewhere. The secret is don't care about money, just do it for fun. Make the videos that you would want to watch or stream whatever and play in a way that you would that you would like to watch. That's the secret. Make it for yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. That's kind of how I started. Like I just I just started this out as a hobby just doing it. Just doing it for my own pleasure. Then other people started watching it and they started liking it, so I was like, alright. So that just motivated me to keep doing it. 
Otherwise, I probably would have, uh, probably would have stopped a lot sooner. <coughs> You're the youngest. <laughs> nah, we were mean. We were so mean to my youngest brother. Now we're best friends, but I, I feel bad. Like, you don't understand as a kid, what you're really doing to other kids. You're so impressionable. <laughs> Another one of these weird shirts. Alright, we gotta be careful. We gotta kinda go through here quick, because this guy's behind me. I don't want him to catch up. Because like I said in the beginning of the stream, we're, we're going to be playing a lot smarter now and trying to stay alive. Not just going for kills every two seconds of my life. Staying alive is the most important part of this game. That is the main objective. People always say it's a sandbox, you can do whatever you want. No, that's not right. The objective is to stay alive. It's a survival game. It's not a sandbox game. This isn't Minecraft. Actually, that's that's a bad example. Okay, it's it's very similar to Minecraft, which is also a survival game. <laughs> My point is, we gotta try to stay alive. There's another gun. I actually have ammo for this gun. All right, let's. Uh... It is gonna be getting dark soon. We can break this though. I'm the youngest brother, scars to prove it. <laughs> hey, Ahsoka. How's it going? See, the good thing is if you're... It's okay if you're the youngest brother as long as you're kind of... Within this... Within a, a similar age. Like within a, within a year. Or not, not two years. A year or... About a year. Then you're good. But if it's like three to four, if it's like four or five years like my youngest brother is, then, uh-oh, might be in trouble. <laughs> I have this game from Steam, can't play because of needing a new PC. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah, this game could be pretty taxing on the system. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. All right, I'll bring out the torch like as a last resort. We are going to use a light, though. I know I said I was going to play smart, but we have to use a light for, this, for the sake of the stream. So you guys can see. I don't see this guy that was behind me. He's most likely going to move into Cherno itself. Honestly, I should probably be doing that, too, because I need food badly. I don't want to get... I'm, I'm yellow already. I think right now what I need to do is focus on food. So I have two two options here. Two options. I can either go up here and loot these houses and look for food that way. Canned food and drinks, whatever. Or I can head down here to the docks, look for a fishing pole and some hooks and go fishing and have endless food. I think the most dangerous thing is going to be going up to the houses. And I think it's going to be less likely for me to find food than it will be getting a fishing pole. I can't remember the last time I actually died at the docks, so... Let's switch up the game plan here. We're going to head to the docks, get a fishing pole, and then we're not going to have to worry about food. And who knows, we'll try to, we might run into people, but uh, if we do, we'll just try to outrun them. Or, I mean, I do have a gun, but I think I need like a headshot to uncon them with the 22. And even then, I don't know if it will uncon. Just been on your server with a friend. Someone's sealed the big castle in the river? Oh, which castle is it? I'm trying to remember. Which one is on a river? So many castles. Yeah, people do that. They, uh, the castles are a popular base spot. Oh, I know the one. Talking about the Lapatino castle thing. The one near Lapatino. Yeah, yeah, the big one. Krona Castle, I think it's called. <clears throat> yeah, that's such a good spot for, uh, 
getting um, Winchesters. Kind of unfortunate. All you need is a helicopter and you can get inside and raid it. Has this been looted? It looks like it has. I am in dangerous territory here without a gun. But we need to go check the uh, containers. The fishing pole. Yeah, this has all been looted. There's somebody near me. For sure. Here's the containers. So we're going to find a fishing pole and hooks and everything. Maybe fish during the night, actually. That, that'll be that'll work out great. Flaming Broom is your favorite. I love the Flaming Broom as well. Please have ammo. Crap. Actually, that still might have ammo. Let's check. It doesn't. Alright, let's go check all these containers. Hooks are kind of hard to see. You gotta look really closely. You can miss them. Fishing is and always will be. There's the fishing pole. The best way to um, get food in this game. Now we just need a hook and we're good. I believe the screwdriver... There's another one. I believe the screwdriver we can get worms with. Another one? Grab this jacket. I hate it's something I hate about Daisy, but you gotta wear camo clothing. I hate it, but you gotta do it. You wanna wearing civilian clothing is just way, way too bright. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I, I really wanna wear this baseball T-shirt, but. We're gonna stay alive. We gotta be. We gotta be as concealed as possible. So easy to miss these hooks. Build maze bases. Create kill boxes. If anyone trying to raid you, dude, those are popular. I've never really. Um, I've never, never really messed around with those kind of builds, but they're pretty popular to do. Alright, let's bring out the light. So I can see. We gotta find this hook soon. Getting dangerously low on, hell, on uh, food. Need one hook. Let's grab this hat. Store the hooks on the boonie hat. Found three fishing poles and no hooks. Guess I could li listen for a chicken or something. Maybe there's there we go. Finally. All right, let's um. If I could spot to fish over here, might be decent. That's my favorite spot to fish. There's at the, at the boat, but it's a little too. Actually, it's not too bad. Do we have time to run all the way over there though? I think this will be fine. Just stay over here. Uh, real quick, let me uh, gather some worms. I'm just gonna keep the light out for a bit. Do 
some night fishing. I hope that you can I hope you can get worms with a screwdriver. It doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe you can't. Or is this sand and that's why I can't? I need to get to grass. Yeah, it's just sand. That's why I can't find him here. Oh, well. We don't need it. We can just go fishing without him. This looks like a pretty safe spot. We'll be okay. Excuse me. Ah, oh, sneezed. Oh, sorry guys, I can't control my uh, my head right now. <laughs> uh, the server is called Baby Nate's Zion Hardcore Expansion. This is my own personal uh, server. The pop usually drips a bit once it gets dark, but it'll go back up. These hardcore players, they, they don't like it hardcore. It's going to take me a little bit longer to catch a fish, but... Uh, it's okay. Hopefully not too much longer. Yeah, yeah, we do need to get worms, but there's no grass around me. It's just all sand. If this takes too long, then I'll go get I'll go get some worms. Won't get server sniped. Stream sniped. That's possible. I mean, if they want to stream snipe the server owner, they can they can try. And get banned. Yeah, yeah, we're on my server, Tom. Need to drink something. I don't really fish a lot in on a norm, normal Turnerus map. I usually do it on uh, Namals though. And I never use worms. We'll see how long it takes, though, without a worm. Just out of curiosity. That got really dark. Look how dark it got that fast. Wow. My server was a top five DayZ server? What? Oh, in somebody's video. I got you, I got you. Oh, there we got something. We got something. It's going to be a big, juicy mackerel. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's see if we can catch some more. just want to catch, like, maybe... Maybe we can catch two, and then... Okay, why is this not working? Oh, yeah, I need to get out in the water more. We'll catch two, and then we'll go inland and go f in, and cook them up and eat them. There are a lot of bases on this server. But you gotta remember something. This is, um... This is the first... This is the literally the first wipe of the server. I mean, we're brand new here. And we're... We have, like... The, our setup is very unique. It's not like any other server. Like our raid system. There's no server that has a raid system like this server does. Um, with our unique type of building. And I, I bought a lot of Russian mods that you're not gonna find on any other server that are on this server. So we're kind of in uncharted territory a little bit. It's just our first wipe. Next next wipe though we'll have uh everything will be a lot better balanced. The rating and the building. I'm just kind of afraid to change too much around like after the server's live because people they get confused. So big changes will always wait until the next wipe to do to implement them. But um, we're gonna be having some base building changes next wipe. Uh, this is the first wipe. Like literally, the server went live and it's been live ever since for the last for over a month now. Okay, 
I don't know why this mackerel are not biting. You're supposed to bite at night. <laughs> Waiting patiently for Pakistan server. Oh, I just got I got so far behind though with the video and then I got sick. I just had to delay the if the Takistan server does come, which I do want to open another server. I don't know if necessarily if it'll be Takistan at this point, but Okay, we got something. What was it? Oh yeah, another mackerel. Alright, let's head inland. Let's cook these babies up. Uh we're not gonna have to worry about food for a bit. Now that I have these. Yeah, I do want to do another server. I'm going to wait until after 1.19 comes out to even begin working on it, though. Because from the looks of that, that teaser preview thing, it seems that the update's going to be pretty big and make a lot of changes to the to Livonia and, and maybe Chernerus as well. We'll see. We need to find a good house to cook this in. I'm actually thinking of getting away from the docks before cooking. It'd be nice to get one more hook, though. Yeah, yeah, let's head out of here. Got two mackerel. That's that should be a, a decent amount of food. Got held up in one of those custom milli towers you have added two dudes tried to throw a nade at you. Your window had it bounced back and blew them both up. <laughs> oh. Isn't that the best when they just kill themselves? That happened to me in a stream not long ago. I don't know if you guys remember. There's that dude up in the little uh little tower, he tried to throw a grenade at me. And it just bounced back and blew himself up. Ah, oh, that was so funny. How quick that jab is. That's how we do it. Alright, let's go. I guess I'll pass through this, this little military checkpoint real quick. As I make my way inland towards the house to cook the fish. Love Takistan, such a nice map. The clothing on it is also amazing. I like Takistan a lot. After after looking at the map, I I gotta admit though, it's it's kind of bland looking. It's kind of bland looking, but um, this poor guy got murdered. He got murdered a while ago. So there's flies on his body. So there might still be some stuff here that I can maybe find. And it's kind of bland looking, but at the same time, there's no servers for it. And I feel like that map could be really good. With the right mods, it could be really good. It will require a lot of work. Like, I think I'm going to have to go in and add a lot of new points of interest. Like, custom points of interest. Because that's where it's lacking, is that there's not a lot of variety in the loot, like the looting. So it's going to require a little bit of uh, TLC. Yeah, I definitely want to do it. I definitely want to make a server for Tagestan. And other, and other maps. I love how nobody checks these. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta, we gotta cook this food before I go red. Okay, where's the nearest cookable house? Or house to cook in. Gas station there. Let's head up this way. Maybe we'll head up to the apartments and, and check. Um, or maybe cook actually up at the apartments. It's a good spot. On the roof or something. <gasps> maybe some custom areas. Yeah, yeah. The military areas are the best part of Takistan. I think, um, I think the towns and stuff are just kind of like, 
Hey, they're fun at they're fun for a little bit, but after that it just gets a little monotonous. Maybe that's why there's there's not a lot of uh not a lot of servers for that map. It's a great map. Wish you could play your server on PlayStation. Oh yeah, I know it. I know it. I would love for that to happen. I would love for them to add mods to console. It's just... They said it's too much work, though. They, don't, they, they could do it. It is possible, but... It would require a lot of resources to do. According to the devs. Alright, I'm just gonna go up in a building here and build this fire. One of these tall apartments. Then I'll cook. Do I even have a way to light it, though? Oh, wait a second. Okay, good, good, good. Dark fart. Some dark fart. LAX tag stand is very fun while it lasted. <clears throat> Driver's damaged. Sorry, guys, I know it's dark. Um, I was checking these cars really quick. Alright, I need a bush to get a long stick. I'm really hoping I can actually build a fire up here. I'm not actually sure if I can. I think I can. out as soon as I get up the ladder so you guys can see oh no what I just glitched off the ladder and died oh my god I got to the top and it glitched me off and it killed me all right we gotta run back get our stuff oh that's annoying dude I've never died on that ladder before I got to the top and it just like suspended me in the air. Where do we spawn at? Oh, we're all the way in Berezino. Alright, we gotta get back. We gotta get back. Oh my god. Dude. You just can't have nice things in DayZ. I did not know those apartments did that. Never happened to me before in my whole life. I'm just gonna kill myself. I need to get. I need to get a Cherno spawn. So, I'm not looting again like that. That's ridiculous. All right, we'll get back there. We'll get back there. I need my fish. The body stays for 30 minutes. As long as nobody else comes along. <laughs> a favela type map. What's that? Perfect spawn, perfect spawn. Literally can't ask for a better spawn than this. Daisy taketh away, Daisy giveth. Alright, so the apartment's just right up there. We'll just head there really quick. Be okay, guys. Yeah, I knew I was dead as soon as I was floating in the air. I was like, oh, here it goes. I got to the top, stepped off the ladder... Did that weird, like, suspension in the air thing? And I fell. Okay, stop looting. We need to get back to the body. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> oh, favela scenery, if someone wants to make one. That would be cool. I got caught by a bear trap hidden in the shed and survived. No broken bones or anything. <laughs> for a while there, the bear traps, they just broke your leg. And then for a while, they... 
I don't think they ever killed you outright. For a while, they just hurt you. Now I think they break your leg. They're supposed to every time. Oh man, that was so annoying. See what just happened there? That used to happen every time. Back in the... Oh no! We gotta get back to that body in 10 minutes or it's gonna despawn. Oh my god. Well, we got a lucky spawn then. That would have been a horrible way to begin the stream. Alright, there's the apartment. It's that. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's that one right there. Gotta get there in 10 minutes. That should be able to do. Well, it says server is restarting in 10 minutes, and whenever there's a server restart, it wipes the whole server. All the bodies on the floor get wiped. So my dead body will disappear. If there wasn't a server restart, though, it would last for 30 minutes. And that's basically what server restarts do, is they reset the map. They reset all the bodies, all the dropped loot. Um, they shut all the doors, they delete all the zombies that are on the ground. Stuff like that. It helps the server FPS. The server performance. I'm not too worried about getting sick. Let's just let's just go for the Let's go for the stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. I can take my bones to get more fish hooks. It's a great great idea. The good news is I also have this dog food can now. I can use that. Have even more food. That was the first time I've ever died on one of those ladders in the, in, a, in one of the tall apartments. Literally, first time it's ever happened to me. Yeah, yeah, Red. We're on our we're on our own server. Baby Nate Zion Hardcore Expansion. It's not just me playing here though. It's um, it's high pop. There was high pop before it got dark. It'll go back up to high pop, though. It's that, it's, yeah, it's that, it's that apartment there, the first one. Hey, Dalton, how's it going? That wasn't too bad. See, this is why a lot of people like to build on the coast. So if you die, you can just literally run back right back to your body. If you're getting raided, you could just keep running back. Over and over. I was so unlucky. Body should be in the elevator shaft. Hopefully it's not... There it is. Good. It's not like suspended in the air. Get my gun. Put that on our backs. Grab our pantalones. Switch those out. Bam. All right. I'll have to drop that gun there. I can't carry that up here. I want to be able to... Oh, wait. I need to... Yeah, I need to cut up the body. Where's the gloves at? Bam. Bam. Screwdriver. Four baby nades. Oh, the bunker's going well, Dalton. Very well. See, I haven't had a chance to do any more renovations or anything, though. Because I've been sick. I had COVID for what felt like forever. But things are starting to get better. All right, let's grab the light. Let's head up the thing. We got to build this fire to cook up this food. Server restarts in just a, just a few moments. I swear to God, if I die again, I'm gonna ban. I'm gonna ban everybody on the server. 
<gasps> no! No way. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I just think I just lost everything. When did this building get bugged out like this? Jeez. Dude, I gotta delete that whole... I gotta delete that building. I just lost everything. I can't get back there in time. I can't... literally can't get back there. Oh my god, dude. All right, lessons are lessons have been learned. Never climb those at night or or any time. You guys saw what happened. I like I did everything. I just, just climbed the ladder. That took us one step off. I got suspended and then I fell to my death. I don't know. Is I swear to God that building's not always been like that. That's maybe it's that specific one. It's like a new thing that we told me about. Oh my God. Not that I had anything amazing or anything, but just really annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna live out this character, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're gonna do like a middle of the map run instead. Ah. Uh... I don't have enough time to get back there. The server's literally gonna... It's gonna shut down any second. Wow, that was horrible. Ah, oh, man. Alright, let's go check out these barracks. Maybe I'll find, like, an M16 and I'll feel better. I mean, we're lucky that happened in the beginning of the stream. Not at the end or the middle. Then I would have rage quit. I guess 100,000 hours isn't enough. Still happens. Okay, restart in three minutes. I'm gonna, loot. I'm gonna see if I can loot these barracks before the restart. So the stuff might respawn. It should respawn. Okay, nothing in this one. Just loot it again. Utility pouch. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. I don't even know what it is, but let's grab it. Alright. That's good. We'll just wait here. The restart's gonna happen in a second. Should have loot. Uh, lockout. Oh, man. What? <laughs> See, once I find a decent gun, though, it'll I'll feel better about myself. All right, guys, we're just gonna wait here till the restart happens. Um, I'll be right back. I use the bathroom. I've got to go punch something. I'll be back.
Alright, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Is it restarted? Let's see. Oh. Back to the server because it is unreachable. It's restarting still. Alright, gotcha. I feel better. Well, sorry for that, uh that glass mirror that I shattered, but I feel better. Yeah, avoid that building from now on. We will, we will. I'm not going to climb those anymore, I don't think. Maybe I'll test it out. I'll test them out and see if there's... If it's, I think it could be just that one is bugged. I'm not sure. Which is weird because the other buildings are the exact same. Do that back up. My map, if I, uh, oh, For some reason my, uh, my mic looks like it's picking up like every sound I make. Hey, Danny, how's it going? Oh, wait, you asked me. Oh, it's going pretty good. Haven't died yet, which is good. Got some really good loot. <laughs> Got a couple kills. Great start to the stream. What the heck was that? All right, let's see. Let's see. We can confirm here, because I picked up every single thing that spawned, so we'll see. Yeah, look. We'll see if the loot will respawn on that restart. Already an MP5 compensator. Heavy LMG pouch. I don't even know what that goes to. So yeah, just from picking up all that loot, we should be able to get new stuff. It's not considered loot cycling if you keep what you pick up, by the way. That's the secret. It looks like we just got an MP5 compensator out of that is the, one of the most useless items in the game. Oh well. Ah, oh, am I really going to have to go fishing and do all that again? So annoying. Alright, so we're in Solnichny. What's the plan? I guess we could start here at Solnichny. Maybe just make our way west. Go to Delina. Chakovka. The Globo. Maybe hit up Kamerna. And just work our way out west. And maybe... Yeah, yeah. We could go to VMC and stuff, which is, like, right up here. VMC. Let's do, like, a totally mid-map run. That's the plan. I'm gonna have to take it slow and, like, take my time looting, because I'm gonna need some decent weapons if, once, I'm out, once I'm out there. Or I'm in trouble. Is this still night? Like it's been night for a while. What's my cat's May? Cat's name? Smokey? Yeah, my cat is a uh, cat. But um, no. When I first got him, he was like a gray color, so I called him Smokey. And then he turned black, like right after. Like literally, I named him Smokey, and then right after I said it, he turned black. So it makes no sense anymore. I'll never forgive him for doing it. <laughs> He's black and white. Your cat's name's Tripod because he has three legs. Wait, what is it called if they have four legs? Is that a quad? A quad pod? A quad pod? A quart pod? I don't know. Okay, it's coming day. 
I hate going through Delina, which is the next town over, because it's oh, it's like in a valley and it's you're so exposed on every side. Let's ditch this. Quadrupod. Oh, I gotcha. Quadrupid. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm bleeding. See, my, um, my microphone is, like, right in my view on, on my monitor where the, where, like, the bleed emblem is bleed symbol, so I can't tell when I'm bleeding sometimes. Oh, dude. I love these baseball t-shirts. It's just they're too bright. Because they're white. So I can't... Like, I'm kind of torn. Do I want to dress the way that I want to dress? Like, all civilian-y and cool? Or do I want to look camouflaged? I don't know. See, if I'm in a group, I, I, I if I'm in a group, I can dress civilian-y, but if I'm by myself solo, I gotta do whatever it takes to stay alive, so. I just gotta use the camouflage as best I can. It's unfortunate, but it's necessary. Oh god, can't do that. I feel like this whole stream's just been like a looting, like a looting stream. We have not made any headway because of the unfortunate deaths. That's what I get. Oh, jackpot. Don't hit me, zombie. I said, you know what? I'm going to let him suffer in here. I'm gonna let him suffer here forever. I'm not gonna kill him. Because he hit me right there. He can starve to death. Yeah, be miserable. Need to hit up the, uh, the clinic. Yeah, he's gonna be- he's gonna sit in time out for that one. I need to treat, eat my, uh, what kind of chips are these? Lay's flaming Hot. Every time I stream, I just have so many Discord messages. I think it's people telling me that I did something wrong, or... Now look over at Discord, I got like 30 messages right now. Guys, just come and chat and tell me it's important. <laughs> Alright, let's see what is... Oh, it's aggro to me. Let's see what's in this last couple houses here. Usually the... Usually I find a gun by now. So I haven't found one. There's gotta be something in this... One of these houses here. Maybe this last house will have it. We'll just leave him locked up. Okay, guess there's nothing. Oh, I just hit him through the fence. Why does that fence have no collision? Let's test that. Oh, it does for me. What is going on right now? Oh, nice. I need that. 
feel a blaze coming. Oh, please, please. I hope I hope you're right. The house of saline bags. You gotta remember when you're looking when you're like looking at medical stuff. Don't just check the clinic. You gotta check that like the surrounding houses. Because for some, oh my god, jackpot. That is a great, that's the best bag in the game to get. Because for some odd reason, the, um, the devs decided to have it, so. Dude, I've never seen that beard. I've not seen the Santa beard in forever. But yeah, for some reason, the devs decided to make it so, like, medical stuff not only spawns in the medical areas, but in, like, the adjacent houses for some odd reason. All right, let's get out of here. How much, uh, best insulation? Yeah, I thought it would give pretty good insulation. Let's hit up the well before I leave. Pretty much cleared out this whole town, though. No, no guns. So we just gotta keep going. Not a lot of food, either. Yeah, 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 Dan, I'm on my server. We're on the Baby Nate's Island Hardcore Expansion. I'm kind of mad at this server currently because it just killed me twice. I, I glitch died. Yeah, CC, I, I, same for me, and it's because people don't check the, the adjacent houses as much as they do the, like, the clinics. I need a fishing pole. I need a rope, actually, is what I need. So we gotta keep our eyes peeled for a cutting tool. We can make a rope. Alright, that's good. Let's go to Delina. Which has me worried because it's in a big valley where you get ambushed constantly. Long chill Pakistan server. Um, it's not gonna be till after the next update, 1.19. I'm honestly not 110% satisfied to do Pakistan just yet because I don't know. It's gonna depend on what if I'm able to edit the map very well. Because there's just not a lot of points of interest on Takistan. I'm not sure what the interest level is in Takistan. Uh, maybe I should do like a Twitter poll. I'll do a Twitter poll in the next couple days and we'll see if people want Takistan or another map. Or maybe Namalsk or some other weird map that nobody's ever played. Or that people don't really get a lot, give a lot of attention to. Because I don't want to put a... Because see, Takistan's going to take a lot of work because... The map doesn't have a lot of points of interest, so I'll have to go in manually and build a, build new areas, which takes a lot of time. So I just want to make sure it's the work's going to be worth it and people will actually play the server before I start investing a lot of time into it. Some of these zombies have a knife or something on them. Or a steak knife. Nope, he didn't have one. Holy gosh. Just take them out one at a time. slow today. I can't fight two at the same time. I mean, I can, but I'm not going to. I want to get cut. Look for stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing is, I, I don't, like, I don't know where the stones spawn on this, in this area. Sometimes they don't spawn on trails. Sometimes they do. I think all that stuff is just totally random, to be honest.
Like, if we find ourselves on an old dirt road or something, I'll look for him, but... I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it. Because I may never find one. More ammo. We need that. Oh, we have food this whole time? Forgot. I'm making it harder than it needs to be. I think Takistan needs a good server. It does. It really does. I mean, I can do it. I just don't want to... I just don't want to put, like, weeks of work into it and then nobody play it, you know? I think a Twitter poll, though, would give a good idea of how popular it would be. Maybe I could have people vote on what they want to see. What what's my map? I mean, Livonia is getting an update. My thing is, Livonia requires like a it's like a full server. You need like a full sixty pop minimum to even see anybody on that map. If it's not full pop, you barely ever see anybody. Find stones on railroad tracks. Did they move them back to railroad tracks? They're not really near any railroad tracks now, though. That's the only problem. See, sometimes they're there, and sometimes there aren't. They aren't, so it's... For me, it's not worth going out of your way to look for it. Look for stones on roads and tracks and stuff, because... It's just sometimes there's nothing there. And I don't know if it depends on the server or what. But if I find myself there, I'll check for them. Should be able to find something up here, I hope. There goes all my food, literally. Okay. Yep, I'm back. Yeah, this is a hardcore server. Alright, why we haven't found a gun yet. <laughs> Capri Sun. Beautiful. That's a good sign. It means nobody's in front of us looting. They would 100% pick that up. So we're going to have a... Probably a free row... A free loot... A free loot run. Up through Delina, Hopefully. You never know. Last time I was up here, I got shot. I got attacked by some people. This is a uh, PC. This is PC. So you can't do this on console. You can't do you can't do this with a controller. Handsaw. Now we're not building any bases. We don't need that. Did I just open that door with my mind? Did you guys see that? I heard a chicken up this way. Actually, the handsaw is a knife. Basically, a knife. We gotta grab that. Where was it? It was in this shed. It was in this. Sh it was in that shed. Yeah, we gotta grab that. Forgot. Forgot, forgot, forgot. You can cut up the chicken with that. Where is it? Like up there? Up the hill? Gotta listen for that chicken again. Please don't control her. Just shame me. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying. The mouse has, um... It's a lot easier. It's more precise than a, than a joystick. The controller is actually bit, way better in most games, I would say. Like, when I say better, I mean I prefer it in most games. I prefer a controller to a mouse and keyboard. But DayZ, it's definitely more advantageous to use the mouse and keyboard. What do we got here? Milk box. One liter. Nah, I'm not. I'm not one of those people who makes a big deal about console being inferior or any of that stuff. It's, it's not inferior. Depends on the game. 
it's it's totally subjective to whatever game you're playing is what what's best to play on. Baseball dude. This so this is my favorite shirt in, in the server. The black baseball shirt. Awesome, awesome. See, I'm glad I died now. Jeez, die already. Today's video on YouTube was a great video. Ah, oh, thank you, man. God, I'm like sneezing, I'm coughing, I'm falling apart here. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. Like, I've, I haven't had COVID. Like, I've been been free of the virus for at least three days now, if not four days. What's a good server that's like base, day Z with no vendors, etc. Just a compass and being able to party? Like with like a party, like the party system thing where you can like see where you got, where your teammates are. Cause I don't know of any server that has that, that doesn't have traders. Beautiful, we got a gun. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I do like the party system mod if that's what you're talking about. It's a really cool mod. Okay, let's um, let's load this mag up all the way. I need to murder that chicken. Where is it? It's over there. Okay. Okay. Load that. Let's load this. <clears throat> that is such a cool mod. I don't... To be honest, I would like to see it in vanilla, but... I don't think they'll ever do that. I would add it to this server, but the people people would go absolutely crazy. I did that. The hardcore the hardcore people have a very specific like type of mod that they can that they'll that they'll allow <laughs> that they'll tolerate, I should say. So I got I gotta have to have to follow their um, their wishes. All right, we're skipping these houses because there's a base there. And I don't want to alert those people if they're there. They'll shoot me. Vid's always got me wanting to go on an adventure in this game. <laughs> that footage from that video is pretty old. <laughs> it was actually a whole update to go. It just took me forever to get... Like, I started streaming, so I, I kind of moved away from the videos for a while. But, um, yeah, that's part one. Part two is coming next week. And then after that, I'm going to be focusing on the new, the new style of video. Which I guess the, I guess the current videos is kind of a preview of that because the new style of video is basically going to be me going to a random server, just some random server, and playing there for a week and recording everything that happens and then uploading the video on a Saturday, the last day of the week. No matter what happens, like if I just if I play on the server every I'm gonna play on the servers every day and just record everything that happens and make a video from it. That's the plan. And even if like it's nothing good happens and I just die, could die 30 times in a row, <laughs> that won't happen. But if it happened, I'll still make the video. Like nothing's gonna stop me from making the video. And I hope it works. I'm still not sure what to like call the new, that call the series or whatever, but I think it could be cool. Like, it adds an element of randomness in the game. Like, I'm not... I don't have, like, a set plan or anything. I'm just playing on the server. Maybe I'll come up with a plan to say... Like, I'll try to build a base in a week. And get fully geared and cover all the secrets of the whatever. There's, like, some kind of... It's on my mall server or something, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> but it'll be, like, a self-contained week-long gameplay session on, on a server. And I've... I think I'm going to start on, um, 
Like, I've already started the recording on this server on another account. But, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on this server for the start off. I might do a different server. We'll see. Got plenty of time to do it. Not going to be starting until after. Ex Actually, oh, idea. I just had an amazing idea. Maybe we could start it off. The first, the first week's video will be with Experimental. Daisy Experimental 1.19. On an official server. I just don't know if Experimental stays open for a whole week without wiping. I might have to just play like a week's worth of gameplay in like two, three days. <laughs> like a bunch of 24 hour sessions back to back. I don't know, but that's the plan. And we're going to be doing that in, in along with um, streaming three times a week. Oh, here we go. See, look. Guys, we're getting our gear back. I would actually say we even have better stuff than we had on the last character. Couple badly damaged weapons. I'll take them. I'd love to get a shotgun. That's what I'm really looking for. Oh, I gotta scratch my nose. My nose always itches when I play Daisy. Actually, that's not true. My nose always itches whenever I'm streaming Daisy. Let's ditch the beard. Let's check these three houses here. Wait, I already checked that out. Let's check these two houses here. Random survivor with Nate. <laughs> like I said, the servers are going to be random, but they're they're not going to be like random, random. They're going to be like I'm going to pick out the actual server. It's going to be a full pop server. I'd love to do one on rearmed. It's rearmed. They sometimes have um server set up on like unique maps like Volning or something. I would love to do like a Volning video. I've never done like a proper Volning video. I've always done just like streams of it. Okay, we've got another mag here. Let's load this gun up too. Or another gun with ammo. Bam. I need to go fishing soon, don't I? I don't think we're gonna find any food in this town. Week in the life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it doesn't even need a like an actual title, like Daisy series or Survivor series. It doesn't need something like that. Maybe it's just it can just be standalone videos. I can just say it in the beginning that I'm on the server for a week. And this is what's gonna happen. This is what happens. This is what happened. And some some videos I might play with a random person. Or do a collaboration, maybe, with somebody. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Can maybe get Dwayne Johnson to help me. Help me survive. <laughs> maybe Nate's survival story. Yeah, that is what they're, they'll be. They'll be like little survival stories. Where's all the food at? We found those chips. We've literally been running on chips the entire time so far. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Steamed beef. This was a base earlier, those, those garages. Let's see if there's still a base there. Is just in badly damaged. Mine's badly damaged. Let's grab it in case what it gets ruined. All right, I want to cook up this. Uh, or I'm gonna cut up this thing real quick. Do I play Warzone? Um, I've never played. I never played Call of Duty Warzone. I've seen so much footage of it, and the new the new game's coming out soon. I'm definitely gonna try streaming it a little bit, just to see how it is. And if people like it and I have fun playing it, then who knows? Might add it to the cycle. 
the stream. The stream might add it to the daily streams. To do something after we do Daisy's always going to be the main focus, obviously, of the channel. But I do want to add in other games once 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 they come out with some good games. That's what I'm waiting on. I've heard kind of split things though about Warzone. Like I watched a little bit of gameplay of it. Warzone 2, I mean. It looked it looked cool. That's good graphics. But yeah, I used to be a massive Call of Duty fan. I have a really intense moment happening and freeze the vid. I'm Nades, I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> uh. Oh, so many possibilities of what I could do. Somebody dropped this here. This looks like it's been dropped. Actually, that's a spawn. Fine, let's grab that. Okay, did that canned beef just not do much for me? Maybe it's just taking it a time. Maybe it's just taking a little bit of time to get to get my hunger up. We could go up to um after looting Delina, if I'm still alive, that's survive all this, I could go up to Staroy military base, actually. It's not a bad idea. I need to get I need to get a better gun though. We're going up there. That's a military base. Very dangerous. Gonna be streaming tonight, so if you want to join me on Twitch, you can see what it's like. Oh, the new war zone. That'll be cool. Is it like in beta or something? Like, how is everybody getting access to play it? I should have done something. I should have like sent in a thingy saying I was interested. I don't know. You guys haven't really seen me play a lot other than Daisy, but I, I love. I just love games in general. And it does take it does take me a bit to sometimes get good at a game, but um, I can I can pretty much get decent at any game if I play it long enough, but. To actually reach that point, I have to really like it. I gotta be really into it to get good at it and invest time into it. The only other game I really ever did that with lately has been Apex Legends. Like, I, gr I grinded that game quite a bit. And I got pretty good at it. Obviously, I haven't played it in forever, so. That could be another one I could add into the rotation. I'll never do just like a full on Apex or Call of Duty Warzone stream, but I would do it at the end of the DayZ stream. Like after doing like five, six hours of Daisy, maybe switch to another game to end the stream. Maybe play for an hour and a half or two. That could be cool. And who knows if people like it, it could maybe be even a bigger part of the channel. Never know. New Call of Duty is next month. New Warzone is November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Like call like Call of Duty like not the like not the non Warzone type. I don't know if I would be into that as much. The campaign I definitely would be. I love the campaign of the last game. So good. One of the best single player games I have played in a long time. Oh, snake knife. Let's grab that. I'll tell you what I'm waiting for though. Armor 4. That's the game I've always said is going to be the game that gets me out of DayZ. Once they, if they have a good zombie mods for it. Then I might actually stop playing DayZ to play that. We'll see. I'd rather see you play Apex to Call of Duty. Call of Duty's got off the game. <laughs> it is, uh, controversial. Server, server. <laughs> <coughs> I think Warzone 2 should be no loadouts where you can buy guns. 
I thought it was. Like, I thought they had it so you're using just ground loot. You're not using, like, your selection, your selected weapons or whatever. Which I think is cool. It's, it gives it more of a competitive nature. You're not just playing whatever the meta is. You're, you have to use what everybody else does. Whatever you find. Can you imagine if Daisy had that? Like, you, you pick up an M4 and... You pick up, like, a Mosin or something. And then you can... And then it, it automatically, when you pick it up, it just up, upgrades to whatever gun your personal build is. Like, with a compensator and a blah blah blah, paint job and all that. It'd be kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, so last time I drank at this well, I got shot at from a dude up inside of the police station. Oh wow, that's a good find. Let's clear the police station before I start drinking, actually. I'll go, I'll push in there with the, with the pistol. First gotta listen for footsteps. Be in here. If the doors are open, there's almost never anybody in here, inside here. Oh, jackpot. Need that. This place has been looted. Let's get rid of some of the stuff we have. We don't need none of this. Damage clock. Let's take that. Surprised it isn't walled off. Well, this is not. This has never been a good building to build a base in. On this server, it's actually might not be bad though, because we have the um, we have those craftable doors that are that literally are just like once they're like one doorway width, so it actually might work pretty well. Lots of mags. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Anything up here though? Don't see anything. All right, no gun cleaning kits. Maybe we can find one at uh at Starroy because I'm gonna head up there next. I gotta clear out some of this inventory. This is just insane. I'm so I'm such a mess right now. Let's load up the rubber slugs. We died because we put our truck. There's ammo in this already. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we died last time because we put our faith in rubber slugs. If you guys remember. Beautiful. That's gonna be our new primer. Let's get rid of this this crap. We'll use the Glock as our secondary, and then our CZ as our tertiary. Let's drop all this stuff. We don't need this. Why do we have a meat hammer, guys? Why do you guys tell me to pick that up? All right. <coughs> hey, Boydy, how's it going, man? We're doing pretty good. We're doing great. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I was really hoping I would find a stab vest or something here so I can have some armor. Um, uh, What else do we need to do? We need to get out of here. That's what we need to do. All 
All right, so I'm gonna make my way up to Staroy. I don't think I'm gonna stay in this town yet. Yeah, there's really no reason to stay here any longer. I do kind of check these houses. Oh, interesting. So I'm actually thinking that somebody placed this here to shoot it whenever somebody like moved up the moved up the stairs. It's like a trap. Which hat do we want? This one's pretty cool. Let's uh, we gotta go green. Been hearing good things about your servers, buddy. Oh yeah. Yeah, my server is so good. It's amazing. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, people have been really nice about it. I'm glad people like it. <laughs> oh. This shotgun might have ammo in it. Let's check. Okay, it doesn't. Yeah, I, um... I, I was in badly, bad need of a server because... I think we should all... I think any content creator should have their own, like, community server for their community. So I wanted to do that and just have a server that doesn't really like I don't care about the population or anything I just want to have a server open at all all the time forever yeah, I guess because I didn't care about population I uh, like I didn't bend to any demands of anybody <laughs> you know what I'm saying I just kind of stay true to my to my own vision for what the server should be and I think people really liked it I had some crazy ideas to begin with, but uh, I have had to, like, like I wanted to have way more cars and stuff, but I had to change it because it's just too taxing on the servers, unfortunately. I do want to add them back, though. Maybe next wipe we'll add, the, add a million cars like we had them. Hey, Alan, how's it going? I had your first ever Wagyu steak last night. That's so crazy you say that because I had a Wagyu burger last night. A spicy Wagyu burger. Hi buddy, been watching you for years. Good to catch you last time. Oh, thanks Pasty. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, we're all, always going to be streaming on Saturdays. Is today Saturday? Yeah. I'll, wait, today's Sunday? No, wait. Today is Saturday. Yeah, we're always going to be streaming on Saturdays and Sundays and Thursdays. Oh. I'm still coughing because of COVID, guys. Sorry. Alright, there's the Millie base. Let's head up there. It's actually a good spot to enter from. Really good spot. Can be a money pit. Need to be careful. Daddies are extra handful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, luckily, I, uh... I used to... Like, I used to collect old retro games. Like, oh my god, I had so many. Like, old, like, PS2, GameCube, Xbox, NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, um, PlayStation, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Like, I collected all that, all those old games and consoles. I even had an Atari, everything, and I just never had time to play that stuff, but, um, but yeah, I what I'm, my point is, I sold a bunch of that stuff, and I got a lot of money. And I used all that money that I got from selling a bunch of my collection to uh, to build up the server. And to pay for, like, the dedicated machine and all that. We got enough, luckily, that we can probably keep it up forever. Without donations, but uh, people have been really generous giving me a lot of donations for the server and stuff as well. Yeah. Oh, no, we're sick. How did it happen? Oh, God. All right. It's okay. It's okay. We're at Staroy. There's a clinic here. There's also another clinic not far near Novi. It'll be okay. Yeah, Sega. I, had a, I didn't have a lot of Sega stuff. I had a couple of the consoles and still in the box. And a couple of the choice games. Yeah, Sega's great. Dreamcast. Dreamcast is my favorite Sega console. Alright, game faces, we're here. Gotta look for dead zombies. We gotta look for players crouched in trees.
I want to move up this way. I'm just going to clear all these trees before I go in. That's the thing whenever you're playing a base building server. I know I've said this before, but what's dangerous about base building servers is that people have bases. And because they have bases, they can, if they die, they'll get re-geared really quickly. And usually they'll get re-geared with really good stuff that they've collected. So you're more likely to run into geared people on base building servers. So I'm going to be at a disadvantage. Anybody pretty much I come across. Got to be really smart and careful. Yep, somebody's been here. Empty these mags. Maybe not for a while. If there's ammo here. There could be somebody down in the town, actually. I'm thinking. Scorpion, let's grab that. I'm gonna load up that scorpion once I get out of here. It's like a backup weapon. dead. It's okay. Alright, so... If there's somebody here, they're gonna be in the town over here. Let's get out of here. Probably lose the zombies here. Hopefully. See if it worked. No! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, three to deal with. I can probably lock these up, actually. I don't want to fight three zombies. I'll get beat up really badly. Oh, let's take him up the hill and do it. If we're we're going to have to fight him, I think. You get shot right here. Now we're down to one. Now we're down to z none. I was trying to rhyme with one. Okay. I gotta go down to the town and go check the clinic for meds. Although I should be good, honestly, even without meds. Just have a cold. they have anything? I think they did. Okay, let's go. Uh, don't rent a server. Oh, wait, yeah, I do rent a server. I do rent a server. Yeah, this server is, um, it's about $290 a month to keep it up. Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> Still got my PS1 set up the other day to show my 10-year-old daughter. She wasn't impressed. <laughs> I mean, very few games held up, really. I'll tell you what game, what type of games don't hold up over time is first-person shooters. 
They look horrible. The older ones. Ugh. Oh. But other games like, uh... Yeah, like Asteroids. <laughs> Pac-Man, Galaga. Those games for me are like the... Those hold up really well. They're a lot of fun. It's because they're not based around the graphics. They're spaced on the gameplay. I remember, um, I don't know if you guys remember that game called Riddick. It's like an, it's like a, it's kind of like a, like a, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it's kind of like a stealth type game. It's just called Riddick. I remember when that game came out back in the old days for, I think it was for Xbox. And being blown away by the graphics. Like I showed my dad, I was so amazed. Like, I'm like, I'm like, can you believe how amazing these graphics are? And he was shocked. It's like, that looks real. Now you look at the images of that game, you just laugh. It looks terrible. Crazy how far we've come. Alright, game faces. We're going into Star Roy. Murder Central. I need to go up here to the clinic and the, uh... This hunting store. I'm starting to realize it's like impossible to play smart in this game while you're looting. There's just no way to do it. There's no way to loot safely. You just kind of, kind of go. You just gotta go in and go into the open town and start picking up stuff. Wow, Mosin with ammo, dude. Do I have any more ammo? I thought I did. All right, let's ditch some stuff then. We got this. Whoops. Let's take the mag and the ammo out of this. I don't want to lay down on the ground here. Actually, I guess the only way to loot, like, smart, is just to do it really slowly. Maybe that's the secret. I don't want you. I want you. Medic jacket. There's not literally nothing in here. All right, I knew this would happen. Let's get out of here. We have no food. We got a little bit of ammo at least. Some decent weapons too. I need to go fishing, so I don't have to worry about food anymore. Uh, how much, how many, I need some rope. Yeah, I need to find clothes to cut up so I can get rope, and then I'll be good. Hey, we still gotta load up the scorpion. Let's do that real quick. Ah, uh, thank you, Kyle. Uh, the map is Cherneris. Good old Cherneris. Where's the scorpion? Alright. So yeah, we gotta deal with the food situation here. That's the only way I'm gonna get my health back up. We got the chicken we could still eat, but I gotta cook it and everything. This is actually a really good spot to camp. Got a good view of the well. 
but yeah. Let's continue checking these houses up this hill. And um, see if we can find some food. Then after that, I'm going to go and... Or at least some, some clothing or something to cut up so I can make rope. Then I can start moving more inland. Go to, go to the other clinic. Uh, the map is Turner's. Good old Turner's. Tomato soup. I had tomato soup whenever I had a sore throat. <laughs> Not a good idea. I'd never do that. It's basically like pouring acid down your gullet. So acidic. I got one more house. Did I already check this? Alright, let's get out of here. Um, this is a base up here. I can't loot this. Oh no, maybe it's been raided. Let's see. No, no, it's a, it's a base. See, here's what I was talking about earlier about the doors. We have modded, we have modded doors on this server. That just take up a single slot. You can actually shoot through them too. So you can pretty much fortify houses pretty easily. Yeah, soup is a good sick food, but not tomato soup. I don't recommend it. At least if you have a sore throat. It's probably fine if you, if you have something else. But How many mods does it have? Uh, this server has about 20, about 20 mods. But most of them are like small, very small things. Like it doesn't change around the game too much. So I didn't want to change the core, the core game really. All the mods do is they usually, for the most part, they add items to the game, or they add buildings, or assets, whatever you want to call it. Add structures that I can place on the map for custom areas. That's mostly what the, the mods do. It's either vehicle mods, or item mods, or map mods. There's nothing that really changes the game around. It still feels vanilla, everybody tells me, which is good. That's what I wanted to do. Preserve the vanilla feel. I gotta use the bathroom again. I drink too much water. Alright, let's get somewhere safe. <laughs> I got into this weird habit when I was sick where I just drank so much water. And I'm still in the habit. Good dive in a bush over here. We're gonna hit up Kamerna next, I think. Oh, I could actually no no. Let's go to that other town down that way. I don't know what it's called, Sabotka or Waxopka. Something it's pronounced something weird. I think it starts with an S. We'll go. We'll head that way. Then I can cook the chicken there and everything as well. I'll be right back, guys. Gotta use the bathroom. Two shakes of a lamb's tail, and I'll be back.
Okay, we're back. That did die. Oh, great. All right, guys, we'll be right back in two seconds. <laughs> I forgot something. My bad. All right, be back in two seconds. I had to get water because um, after you have COVID, it feels like somebody has a there's like a little man in your in your throat with a fe he's holding a feather and he's just like tickling your your throat. <laughs> it's a really weird feeling. All right, tomato soup. This is the exact type of soup I ate when I was sick. Tomato soup is actually very good. It's just not good when you're got a sore throat. Spoonful of honey. <laughs> I tried that. It didn't work. I know it's. I know it does, but it for me it didn't. What? Did I eat too much? What just happened? I didn't think it was that filling. It's just soup. All right. See, my mic is covering up the part of my screen where I can see, like, my my food and water and all that. So I didn't see that. Wait, am I sick sick? And that's why I threw up? See, now I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what happened. All right, let's go. I'm going to loot this other section of the town down here, this other town down here, and hopefully we'll find some food. What happened there? Did I eat too much? I wasn't paying attention to what it said. Very weird. Now I'm worried that I might actually have an actual sickness and not just a cold. Let's grab that. I didn't eat too much. Okay. Haven't sneezed at all. Okay, I don't have a... What do I have? Dude, what sickness do I have? I don't know. I need to go to the clinic. Actually, forget this town. I need, well, I need food, so... Okay, we'll go to the town first. Get some food, and then we'll go to the clinic. Do I have wound infection or something? I don't know what I could have. Sure. See, the problem is this, and I know I, I hate when I get on these little little anti Daisy tirades, but I want to do it. I love Daisy, but I just hate how sometimes I just hate how the loot economy. Like, you turn up some... Like, server owners will understand what I'm saying here. Like, you turn up something like, um, like medicine, and it'll spawn... Like, way too much of it will spawn in some towns, and then it won't spawn at all in other towns. So, if I turn up the medicine to make it actually... Because nobody likes playing this game when you're sick. It's just miserable. But I, I don't want it to be too easy to where you just go into a hospital and you have, like... You have, like, 3,000 Tetra... So I turn it down, but then when I do that, it doesn't spawn anywhere, except like uh, certain places. So that's why when I'm going into these medical locations, I'm just not finding it anywhere. Has this town been looted? I guess we'll find out soon enough. It looks like it has been. There could be somebody here. Where's the well at? I never come here, so I don't really know the layout all that all that well. 
Let's see if we can spot the guy. I need to cook my chickens, but I don't want to do it if there might be somebody here. Yeah, this has all been looted. Everything is open. There's the well. There's a, a zombie there that's not... Literally everything is... Everything's been looted. There must be a guy, like, down here. In the lower section of town. Let's see if I can get eyes on him. See, now I'm not not able to play, like, all safe and, and smart because I'm dying of hunger. I don't care if there's a guy here. I gotta cook. Yeah, I don't have the luxury of... There's a dead animal over there. Let me go check that out. Alright, real quick. Let's go check out the dead animal. That could be... That could be a dude. I mean, I know there's a guy here. Or near here. I just looked up into the woods and I saw an animal laying dead. I think it was like right here. Wait, was it? Okay, now I lost where I was looking. Let me go back to where I was. See if I get spotted again. Blurry vision. Hey, can somebody look that up? Tell me what the symptom is. Tell me what the disease is. Yeah, I saw a dead animal over here. I think it was yonder. Yonder field. On that on the other side of this field. I don't know. I don't know what disease I could have had. Like, what? I didn't do anything. I didn't get cut. Like, I did get cut, but I used uh, bandages and everything. I don't know. I swore I see I saw a dead animal. I don't even know where it was. All right, let's go. Let's go to that house down there and cook. I don't have the luxury to slowly walk around and look, look for this dude right now. I gotta. I gotta cook. I'm gonna be dead. Need Tetra. Yeah, Tetra usually fixes everything. Well, I'm not going to find it in a town. I can maybe find, um, pills here. That's it. They're tetracycline, though. I shouldn't be sick. I didn't, like, I didn't catch anything. That's what doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, bandages. I think bandages are by default disinfected. You need charcoal. Okay. Yeah, I, well, whatever I find, I'm just going to use it. <laughs> Medicine is the one thing, though, in this game I've noticed. Like, the loot is always... The loot, like, the, like the, the loot dispersion on it is just completely broken. It's the one thing that's the worst. I mean, a lot of things have issues, but it's medical stuff that has it the most. All right, let's go out here and get shot while we're getting sticks. Ugh. 
I'll go to that clinic at, uh, near... I'll go to the clinic near, um... Starry area. Not the starry one, but the one near there. And we'll not, we're not gonna find anything, guaranteed. Never do. It's the last time I was sick on this server. And it's not just my server, it's, it's every server. Even vanilla servers. Like when you never find anything when you're looking for it. Hey, Quinn, how's it going? Let's cook this chicken. Bam. Wait, what do we need? Do we even have matches? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. Alright, let's go get some bark. Some dark bark. I really want to check that town because I know there's a guy there. But I can't just yet. At least there was a guy. He, he looted it. Alright, hand drill kit. Google saying to get rid of blurry vision. You need to get your food, drink, etc. back up. It'll solve it. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, I barely... I know that tomato soup is not that filling, so... It didn't make sense why I threw up. Very weird. Yeah, it's gonna... This chicken's not gonna do much. It's just gonna, like, slowly increase my it's not gonna really make much of a difference maybe it was me drinking this this Capri Sun stuff I don't know maybe you're not supposed to drink that I don't know Salmonella, charcoal tabs. <laughs> Got a kill today on zero servers at the well. <laughs> that's a that's the best place to get kills is the wells. Unsuspecting survivors. All right, we're gonna know what I have in just a second here. I think I need to take like miniature bites at a time. Otherwise, I'll throw up. Which is the most annoying sickness you can get in the game. Just take like two bites at a time. Shikate, by your choice, what ye be judged, choose carefully. One pound of wings or one pound of fries and what flavors? So I'm very, 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 very picky with wings. Like, what like how they're cooked and everything. So because of that, I think that um, I'm gonna go with fries, but I think it doesn't matter how good your fries are. Wings can always have, has more potential to be better than the fries. Like I've had some insane wings before, but it, it totally depends on how they're cooked and where you get them. Otherwise I don't like them as much. That's kind of a weird answer, but. For the most part, fries are always good, but wings have the potential to be better than fries, depending on where. I know that's a cop-out answer, but... <laughs> Eat charcoal. Oh yeah, we gotta find it. We gotta find it. I can't really loot this town, it's already been totally picked clean. There's actually a base here, I think. I can maybe ask if... Maybe there's a base here that guy's still here. We'll see. Maybe talk to him. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Dave. I have some medicine. Yeah, I think I have that sickness where you throw up if you eat. Whatever that one was. Zaxby's chicken. See, that's what I was thinking of, actually, now that you mentioned it, was Zaxby's wings. Like, I I think Zaxby's has really good, really good wings, like, the way they cook them, but 
the sauces is just I'm just not a huge fan of their sauces anymore because they got rid of the original sauce which was my favorite so now it's like I don't even go there anymore now that they got rid of original because that was the tastiest sauce <laughs> chosen wisely Right, we checked those houses already, didn't we? Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. I can't remember. I know there's a guy here. I just know it. Alright, where is my... Oh, wait. I don't have any extra water, do I? There's a well here. We'll be okay. I wonder if that's what happened. Maybe I drank from a well that somebody sick had drank from. And that's how I got it. That's the only thing I can think of. But I don't even know if that's a thing right now. I don't know if that's a feature. It used to be a feature. Okay, I know there's a base here. I just gotta figure out where it is. And I'll try to talk to the people if they're there and see if they have meds. They probably... They will have meds if it's a base. Is there like a fortress house or something around here? I can't even hold my gun out because I need to eat so badly. Okay, Ruger there. Oh, I want these bad. This is my favorite pants. Hey, Smooch, how's it going? Or er, Mooch? <laughs> Smooch, Mooch. Just like that, we're out of food. Got one more, actually, and then we're gonna be out. I'm just taking two bites at a time just to be safe. Don't wanna puke again. All been looted. Huh. Oh, well, here's was a base once upon a time. Uh, this is a slightly modded vanilla, yeah, yeah. Hey, Naden, how's it going? I'm not gay, but I won't turn down a smooch from Nades. <laughs> no, that's a good word, smooch. Uh, somebody needs to bring that word back. You don't really hear it much anymore. It's usually in, um... Usually only hear it in relation to like an old lady. But it's a good word. I need to hit up the well. Wow, actual food. M and M crisps. Crisps. I don't know where this dude... I think this guy just, like, spawned in, looted the whole town, and logged out. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 baby. Colt Python. How much ammo does that... None? Okay. It looks like it has ammo in it. It has a little plus sign. It might be glitched out. I think it could be. I'll take it. After a restart, it might, it'll be good. I 
I don't think this town's always like this. There's gotta be, it has to be looted. Wait, I had something else. There it is. I hear it most of the time, old people though. Yeah, yeah. That's where I hear it too. See if we can spot that animal we saw earlier. The dead animal. I saw it like off in the distance here. I'll check in a second. I swear to God, I saw an animal. See if we can see it again. I was like right here, wasn't I? No, I was lower down. Okay, it was a stick. I see it now. Darn it. Let's get out of here. We'll head to that clinic, then we'll go to Camerna. Actually, no, we'll go to Camerna first because it's on the way, then we'll go to the clinic. Some of this loot's respawned, recycled, whatever. All right, let's go. How's the bunker going? Pretty good, pretty good. We haven't really done a lot of renovations lately because I was sick, but I'm gonna be working on it a lot in the coming weeks. Wanna see if I can, um, like the next room over that I need to I need to like has it is filled it's like has a like a little bit of dirt at the bottom with water over it it's a little bit flooded so i gotta figure out a way to get all that out and i gotta repaint it it's a, it's not even a room it's just like a hallway i'm like slowly working my way to renovate every single room doing them one at a time Then I'll do the, I'll do the, everybody's been asking for the bunker tour. I'll do it. But I mean, I gotta have something to show first. It's gonna take some time. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just gonna be like, I just show like one room. It's the one you've already seen in the, uh, in the little, um, artwork anyways. Yeah, yeah, it's a bug. It's it's not really a. Yeah, I guess it is a bug out bunker. It's like a permanent one though. Like I stay here permanently. I do not plan to leave this the rest of my life, except in a couple months when I'm going to the Czech Republic, going to Prague for Christmas. That's the last time I think I'll ever leave, and I'm gonna be in here forever until an asteroid hits Earth. That's the plan. Are you in or around New England? Because you're a Finnish carpenter, would be happy to help. I'm not around New England, though. I don't want to say my exact location because, uh... Well, I guess it's not like you guys could break in anyway, or anybody else hearing to get inside. I mean, this place was built to, like, withstand a nuclear blast. So it's, <laughs> it's probably good. I want to check this hunting stand out here. Where's my... Oh, wait. I already run out of water. Whatever that disease is that, like, drains your water, that might be what I have. It has to have been a well... It had to have been a well that I drank from, that somebody sick had drank from it, and then I drank from it after him. It's the only, that's the only thing I could have possibly got. We'll see, though. Could maybe find, like, a test kit somewhere. 
hunting knife. Not worth it. I think you have cholera. Your water is depleting very quickly. I think you might be right. I can't. I don't even remember how to get cholera. I think it's drinking dirty water. I didn't drink any dirty water though. Unless it's from these little cartons. Because I did drink these just straight up. Because it says Capri Sun. How am I not supposed to drink Capri Sun? I love Capri Sun. That's got to be what it is. I think you're right. Can't believe those people on... On, uh... Doomsday Preppers. Yeah, those people are, um... See, some of those people are nut jobs. I'm not gonna lie, but... A lot of them have a good point. At the same time. Like, there's a dude... This is a bad example of somebody that has a good point, but this is not a good, this is not an example of somebody that has a good point. This is an example of like a crazy person. There's a dude on there that literally built a castle out of concrete. Somehow thinking that that's like safe in case like there's an EMP blast or something. I don't know. I don't think he understands that what an EMP blast is. It's uh, those kind of whack jobs. Yeah, don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. But every now and then they get... There's like a prepper on that show that's... That's what it is. I'm drinking too... I have to drink in little amounts. Otherwise, I'm going to throw up. That's that's what I have. Great. That's the worst one to get, too. Oh, man. This is our first day back. I knew it was going to be like this. There's a clinic up here, then there's another clinic at Starry, but I don't know if we'll be able to access the Starry one. Where's the next one that near that? I think it's Zelenogorsk. Oh god, we gotta go all the way to Zeleno. There's no if there's no meds here, we gotta go all the way to Zeleno. Yeah, I I drank from a well or I drank from these little these little containers here. Which you're, I guess they're, you're not supposed to drink from them. I didn't know that. Now we know. Either way, I'm just not going to drink from these anymore. Just in case they're... Yeah, because we just picked them up and they were like half full and then I drank them. The plan now is we got to get to the clinic, which is up this way. It's the next, the next stop. Um... I'm gonna skip Kamerna because I don't have. I want to get. This, I want to get this sickness gone with. So let's just go straight to the clinic, and then from there, if we don't find meds, we're just gonna literally sprint to um, Novo. Did I just say Novo? Zeleno. That's that's what I hate about this game more than anything is the loot dispersion of medicine. It's so bad. I mean, it's already there's already like very few clinics or hospitals anywhere especially once you go inland so then when you go to them and you don't find any meds whatsoever no vitamins i know vitamins aren't supposed to spawn in clinics anymore but no vitamins no no tetra it's just horrible so then you're basically stuck with a miserable character and it's just not fun and i don't know how to like like i don't know how to balance that other than just like increasing meds to us to a crazy level to where it's stupid just and basically just getting rid of sickness altogether. See, if I'm playing solo, I just can kill myself, and it's not a, d a big deal. Like I'm not streaming, but when I'm streaming, I gotta I gotta keep the character alive. It's the whole point. Okay, there's Camerna down there. I really wanted to check that out because it usually has good stuff. I just don't have time. Like, I'm already red food again. So I kept throwing up.
All right, I need to check all these uh, houses. Let me. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. <sighs> Carrying way too much useless stuff. Let's check all these houses. See if there's some food. I need to remove the I think I need to remove those container those those like little liquid drinks. Because if they're if they cause sickness, then what's the point of even having them? Another chicken. Let's go kill the chicken. Alright, we're gonna cook these real quick because I don't wanna get too red. Or I'm almost yellow health. Never dry the meat. Best way to do it is to just bake it. Yeah, I know. I left the water bottle on purpose. I just didn't want to carry it. I already got enough water bottles or water containers. See, today has just been one of those days where it's just, you have the worst luck. Like, I drink from something that's not supposed to make me sick, but it does. Then I die to two glitches, to the same glitch in the, in the apartment building. It's just been horrible. Yeah, yeah, we could build a suppressed remote, that's a good idea. A great idea. Yeah, I'll go back and grab it. I have the duct tape. Still don't have a way to light this, though, do I? Let's go get some bark. Some dark bark. Shots at... I don't know where that's from. Sounds like Novi. We're heading that way. Maybe check it out. Helicopter. Andrew Kit. It's coming towards me too. Sometimes this game you just have like a really good run and you get like a helicopter and like a thousand weapons. Then other times it's like this where it's just misery. <laughs> How's the rat situation? <laughs> oh my god. I finally got rid of all the rats, I'm happy to say. It's the one good thing that's happened this week. They all died of COVID. That's how that's what happened. No, nah, I'm just kidding. They're all still here. <laughs> See, the thing with rats is this. You can't just kill a rat. You can't just kill rats if you have a lot of them. Because they multiply so quickly that it's like... It's, there's no point, almost. So you gotta find a solution that kills them so fast, faster than they multiply. And I just don't know how to do it. Maybe I need to buy, like, five cats. Five more cats or something. I don't know. Alright, we got, we're gonna get four chicken pieces here. Yeah, the problem with this is that I knew this would happen now. I can't can't see down the, uh, the optic, but that's okay. I take one bite at a time. Let's drop that. Let's drop that. Drop that.
So yeah, two bites at a time is about the most you want to do. ready. Yeah, I do want to check out those shots over there. I don't know what sickness I have. I, like, I didn't do anything wrong this time. Like, last time I did something wrong, but this time I didn't do anything, and I just got sick with something. I think it is that, yeah. It's the thing where you gotta take tiny baby bites of everything. It's, uh, that's the worst sickness to get to. Oh, I hate it so much. You know, there's a fine line between challenging and fun and not... Oh! Four vitamins. This probably won't do anything, but we're going to take them anyways. There's a fine line, though, between, like, challenge... Someone built a fire here. I'm not sure. I thought I just heard something back here. Might have been my own, my own mouth. Yeah, there's a fine line between challenging and fun, and then not fun at all. It's, this particular disease is not fun. <laughs> it is miserable to have it. I need to go check out this, um... This well over here. We heard shots, like, off in that direction somewhere. been an altar maybe? Nah, I don't think it was altar. I think it was I think it was like Starry Novi area. I'm not sure. Just check a couple houses. I, I gotta get my food back up. Actually, let me stop up here real quick. Just eat a little bit more. Two bites at a time. Maybe these vitamins will help me. I don't know. We'll see. You have influenza. It comes from untreated cold. I didn't have... Um, you might be right. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever we have, we know how to fix it. And that's... Either Tetra, vitamins, or just getting our food and water all the way up. I'm just going to go ahead and go through all this food and just eat it all. I just take my time doing it. It's the thing. You take more than two bites that so you throw up. Bad clothing insulation. I don't know. I don't think I have that. Let's see. I just can't throw up again. That's the important thing. I never noticed those curtains. See, this is why it's good sometimes to just stop in Daisy. You notice things you never saw before. Have you guys ever seen these curtains? It's like my my grandma's curtains. Vitamin should clear it up. Only take a few time. Next time, try not to cuddle dirty panties when you sleep. <laughs> oh my god. Smooch in the dirty underwear. Okay, how many? How much chicken we got? Two more pieces. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to the clinic after that. South of Salem, how's it going, man? 
King Soul only started playing Daisy about a week ago. Oh my god. You've probably experienced tons of sicknesses. That's the that's the hardest thing to deal with in this game is the sicknesses. It really is. It's the easiest thing to deal with and the hardest. Depending on where you're located and what server. Playing a hardcore server, it's the worst. But I guess you could just kill yourself and then respawn and go back and get your stuff. Just go through this last piece of chicken. Then I'll be ready to go. Chicken just doesn't... It doesn't really give you that much calories. That many calories. Okay, nice. We're, we're getting up there. Got white hunger now. What kind of bag is that? Oh, this is the new medical bag. Oh, it's actually a part of a mod. This is one of my favorite um, items in this in this server. My favorite bag. It's really cool. Empty and disinfect your juice boxes, then fill them with clean water. I'm about to just like ditch these completely. I don't even think it'll give me the option to disinfect them. See, it doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't work anymore. They changed that. Used to used to have to do that for like a very short amount for like one for like one update. You had to do that, and they changed it. All right, let me just go through this single bottle. Then I'll uh, run back out of the well, refill it, and then I'll leave. I might loot a couple houses. Then I'll leave. Actually, I'm not going to sit here while I do that. It takes too long. We'll just drink on the way. And I hope nobody comes in here while I'm looting. these two things in this house here. No food, no food. No food, alright. We do have time to go to Camerna technically, but I'm not going to do it. I need to go to the... I need to get to that clinic. There's another well at the clinic, actually. Let's go. We go to the clinic. Ever try for Munda cheese? I probably have. I just don't, I don't know a lot about food. I don't know what things are called. I probably have. Yeah, yeah, Tetra. I think Tetra might be the secret. We survived an entire stream with this sickness once, so I can I can handle it a little bit. Again today. This time it wasn't my fault. Like, I have no idea how I got it. It was either drinking from these things or drinking from a well that was that was diseased. I'm not sure which. I don't know if the diseased well thing is even in the game anymore. I think they might have removed that. Can you do three gulps safely? You're probably right, but I don't want to risk it because I might accidentally do four gulps. And then puke my guts out. So let's just sit. we'll just keep doing what we're doing because it's working so far. I'm kind of tempted. I might go up to altar. I think I am. Let's see if there's any loot there. 
I always die there every time I go, but we'll see. <laughs> it's not a cold, guys. Trust me. Trust me, it's not a cold. I have not sneezed one time. Plus, I was I was pretty warm the entire on this character the whole time. It's definitely not a cold. You don't throw up from eating too much when you have a cold. It's um, it's not wound infection either. It's the one where you. I don't even know. I don't know how to describe it, but I know what I know what it is. There's actually a truck spawn behind this barn. There might be a truck here. Let's see. That would make my day if there was a truck. I was sneezing and coughing in the beginning. What? I was? Oh, it's a joke. It's a cheese joke. I gotcha. I gotcha. A month of cheese. <coughs> Taking advantage of a sick boy. I see how it is, guys. Guy's always trying to trick me. Can't believe I fell for it. Well, listen, I don't understand all all these like Generation Z or whatever jokes. Like I'm, I, I'm too old now. I don't care. I've probably heard it. <laughs> like, I I just don't understand that generation anymore. Oh, it's a D's nuts joke. Oh, I got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Yeah. See that? That was before my time, or that was after my time. The D's nuts thing. Like, I don't get it. Like I saw the video of the guy saying it on the phone and everybody laughing. I just didn't. I guess it was funny. I don't know. I can't really relate. <laughs> Is prank calling even a thing anymore? I just don't even answer my phone when people call me ever. If they have something important to say, they text me. Because I just get so much spam. Okay, it worked. We're, we're white and white. Oh, that vitamin is lasting forever. I right, one more swig and then I'm going to put my drink away. Actually, let's just empty the bottle. Might as well. Okay, there's Novi there. We need to go down the clinic, which is down here. I'm gonna not go just yet. Let me just finish off this bottle. So I can have my gun in my hands while I'm down here. 40 and never heard it. Exactly, I, like, I don't get it either. heard an explosion off to my right. Maybe there's a base in Novo or Novi that's getting raided. I don't know. Oh, I should not have drank right there. I should not have drank right there. That might have been a mistake. There could be a base um, over here that's getting raided and that's why we're hearing shots and explosions. Well, if we keep hearing it, we'll know that it's a base getting raided. Try to steer clear of that because... Generally, when bases get raided, it's a group raiding another group, and the group usually has, like, people, like, surrounding the building, keeping a lookout, just sitting in bushes and stuff, so we don't want to get near that. We'll get killed 100%. Bunch of fully geared dudes. All right, let's go. Yep, it's, it's a base getting raided um, up this way. I'm going to avoid that, if possible. Alright, let's go check, uh, let's go check the clinic. Got two bullets in the Mosin. Okay, the well, there's nobody at the well. I can see that far, at least. 
Any dead zombies? Nope. All right, let's move move on down. Oh good, I see some meds. There might actually be something here we can use. Yeah, there's definitely a raid going on. Now I'm hearing a helicopter. What's probably happened is uh, people in the raid they got killed, so now they're getting picked up on the coast by the heli. I'm trying to listen, so I'm not really fighting. <laughs> it's kind of a ways off. It's off in that direction. I need that IV kit. Signal pistol, what's that doing in here? <coughs> uh oh, now the coughing started. Actually, that's because I've, um... I guess I've, I've cleared, like, a level of the infection, maybe? So it's, it's going back down? I don't know. Need a PU scope. But yeah, there was of course no uh no meds that I needed. You get eyes on this heli. Maybe shoot it down. Sounds like it's what in the world is just hovering there? Oh, that's the big one, too. That's the big one. There could be a guy in the back of that um, aimed at, aiming at me or something. Kind of weird how he stopped there. It's difficult to fly, but it's like a um, it's like a flying platform. You can have a gunner just like sitting in the back and he can snipe out of it <laughs> need to get out of here. I think I'm gonna skip altar actually I'm gonna go the other way I'm gonna stick to the south Maybe go to that castle and see if we can get an optic for the, um, the Mosin, maybe? Actually, no, no, no. Let's just go to Altar. Might as well. We're not far. Take the IV. Did I not take it? I got it. I'm actually going to go ahead and give myself this, so, uh... It's a good way to get your blood up without throwing up. Or, I mean, not blood. Your water. I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm out of food though. That that Tetris lasting forever. All right, yeah, we need to get up to Altar, which means I'm gonna have to go across the big open dangerous field. There's that base that's getting raided though. I don't know if I want to go near that. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to forget it. We're gonna let's forget Altar. Let's just keep going west, and then we'll go. We'll go like southwest from here. And just try to loot as best we can. I don't want to. I don't want to risk going up past a uh, raid. I'll get killed for sure, hundred percent. With these weapons and no armor, I will die so quickly. And I'm outnumbered. Yeah, the Merlin. That's it. I got AIDS from the close. I don't know. I don't think it works that way. 
My temperature's my temperature's pretty good right now. It's not it's I don't think it's anything temperature related. Okay, maybe my it might actually be my temperature. We'll see. Somehow that vitamin is still working. I know I extended it out a bit a little bit with the mod, but I didn't think it would do it that much. Go to a raid and make a play? I mean what what can I possibly do against a fully geared guys with There's like probably five dudes or, or more. Fully geared. M4s, the the one gun that takes zero skill to use. Against me with just a Mosin and two bullets. And no optic. What? This gun will not kill any somebody in a, with a plate carrier. I mean, just a couple days ago, I shot a guy point blank range from eight meters with a Mosin in the chest, and he just had a press vest on it. He went uncon. There's the toxic zone here. We're near, um, near Star. There's Starry. Yeah, yeah, we gotta. Have... There's a helicopter at Starry. Okay. There must be somebody looting it. Looting the toxic zone right now. Which means I need to avoid that. See, these people are fully geared. Like, if I have... If I get decent weapons, if I had a Winnie or something, I would... Oh, I'd be down. I don't care if there's a hundred people. I'd go fight them, but... When I don't have anything... When I don't have any kind of optic or armor or anything, I... It's it's stupid to just go there and just... You'll just get shot. I'll be dead in two seconds. We just gotta avoid it. Let's make our way towards the Leno. We gotta go to that clinic anyways. Or the hospital, whatever. Yeah, the clinic. Gotta deal with this infection. You can always come back once I have better guns. I think maybe if I stay out west, I can maybe go to La Patino checkpoint and get some guns. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> a Mosin two bullets in a dream. See, here's the thing, like, if, if, in, if in this stream so far, I'd, I'd have gotten a lot of kills and had a really good, a lot of success and pretty good runs, I'd be down to do, like, a crazy play and just go for a clip, if possible. Take on a whole group with just a Mosin. Like, I, I love doing that kind of stuff, but when I've had bad luck the whole stream and it just died to stupid things, I gotta play smart and just extend out my life to avoid that kind of stuff. I actually never come to this area that I'm at right now. Oh yeah, so there's the castle I wanted to go check. Whoops. It's too far. I'm not going back. Let's continue this way. Might find a heli crash or something anyways. <coughs> you never know till you try. Ah, uh, trust me, I know. I've played this game enough to know. Unless it's like the worst players ever, I'm not going to be able to wipe a squad with a Mosin and two bullets. It's not possible. Unless they line up for me perfectly. And then they all crash while I'm shooting at them. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to get shot. See, the people... See, this is what you guys need to understand. The people that are on this server, this, these people on this server are not the kind of people you guys are used to seeing in, in streams. We're not playing against, like, a bunch of, like, weekend warriors that just play Daisy whenever they're off work. The people on this server are hardcore on every single day, four to, four to six hours a day, every single one of them. They consider this, a, like, a part-time job. These are all hardcore people. And especially the ones in groups that do raids, they, they're not, um, there's nobody that can just go against these people and just wipe out their entire group single-handedly. There is a skill level this game that, there's like a certain skill level that once you reach it, you're not going to be wiping, you're not, you're, your squad's never going to get wiped once you're at a certain skill level, regardless of who it is. So that's what we're dealing with here. We gotta play it smart. 
Like, if I'm on an official server and there's like five guys fighting, oh, I'll be all, and I have a motion with two bullets, oh, I'll be all over that. But right now, it's just, yeah. I'll, I'll be dead in two seconds. <laughs> even that, even saying that, though, if I had a PU scope, I might be tempted. <laughs> So PU Mosin is a, it's a pretty good combination. You do some damage. Isn't there a base at the Devil's Castle? I don't believe there is. Last time I was there, I didn't see a base. See, castles aren't as good on servers with helicopters. Because, I mean, that's all the castle really is, is a big tower. And uh, building in them is not a good idea. Sometimes people do it anyways, though, and they get raided as a result. That castle, I think, though, might actually have a base at it, so. All right, here we go. Here's the next town over. We'll hit this place, and we'll hit up, uh, we'll go down to Zelenogorsk. There's definitely going to be people in Zelenogorsk. There always is. It's a hot area. But at least it's close range, and I'll have a chance. Like, out in the open like this, when I don't have an optic, I'm going to lose that fight pretty much every time. Oh, man. This green mountain off in the distance. I can never remember the name of this town. But I swear we come here like every stream. <laughs> Which is weird because I never come to this town unless I'm streaming. It's like a stream town, I guess. day. Alright, let's check these houses. I need to, I really need to upgrade the arsenal a little bit. Need an optic of some kind. Need that 9 mil ammo, maybe. Yeah, that's another thing. On this server, it's all groups, pretty much. Even the people that aren't in big factions, they're in groups. I might be like... There might be like... might be like five other solos on the server besides me. Something like that. There's a lot of groups. Oh, yes. That's what I needed. We gotta eat this up. Is it rice pudding? That sounds good. Can of rice pudding. That's like the longest lasting vitamin ever. Um, the raids on this server are pretty insane sometimes. Like, we're talking like 20, 30, well, not, maybe not 30, but we're talking like 20, 25 people involved in some raids that I've seen. So me just rolling in there <laughs> with my little Mosin. <laughs> oh my god. I was thinking of starting a faction on the server. Be kind of cool. I don't think I'm going to though. I'm kind of like stuck in like solo mode right lately. Like I've just really enjoyed playing solo. I like the challenge. These are all modded houses here. This 
This is from the um, the Central European House Pack or something. It's called something like that. Is that revolver loaded up? I don't have any ammo for the revolver, unfortunately. Yeah. Or I would load it up. The revolver, though, may, it, it makes me sad because the old revolver was one of the best guns in the game. Like, from, like, a fun standpoint. It was pretty powerful, too, but it was more just, like, fun to use. That's what I loved about it. The new one is just not that good. It fires too slowly. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's not all that accurate. It's sad. The old one you could play Russian Roulette with as well, which was awesome. Some of the best DayZ videos had that that feature. It's like the, the whole video was just about Russian Roulette. Now you can't do it anymore. Which is unfortunate. What about the Deagle? Oh, the Deagle's great. That's another gun though. Like I feel like they they definitely nerfed 357 a lot. It doesn't do as much as it used to. Oh, baby. Need that. That's a big raid going on. Nanner here. Grab that. Need to make our way to Zelenogorsk. rifle. Oh, my sickness is gone. Sickness is gone. Really? One vitamin? That's all it took? Alright. I mean, I'll take it. That's all it takes. I'll take it. Alright, so we don't need to go to Zeleno now. We can just go straight west. Good, good. I want to get geared up. That's my pl That's been my plan from the beginning. And going to Zeleno is not how you do it, because there's nothing good there. Um, let's check out this... Let's check out... Is that a dead zombie over there? I don't think it is, but I can't tell. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go, uh, I wanna go towards La Patina checkpoint. Go out far out west here. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Actually, idea. We'll hit up, Mich we'll go through Mishkino area. And, um, maybe hit up the Mishkino tents. Then we'll go to La Patina checkpoint, the dam, and all those places. Just try to get some better guns. I really need armor is what I need. Uh, but we got a decent amount of food now that I can eat without getting sick. That's crazy. One vitamin is all it took. Put the banana on a stick. I don't know. I don't believe you can. I think they changed that. Well, maybe you can. See, technically the banana is not in the game. It's in the server files, but it's not a part of the vanilla game. That's why it says, like, it has, like, a weird name. Like, percent banana percent. <laughs> but, um, I re-added it back into the game. out of food again. I love it. Somebody in that house there? There's a fire burning. See, this is where an optic would be really good for me, but I don't have one. Every time I've checked one of these houses, though, and there's a fire, I go in and the person's not there. They've already left. Let's check it out, though. No idea how geared they'd be. They'll probably be pretty geared. You know, we gotta do- we gotta get into some action here.
it's that house there. I might just rush it real quick with a shoddy. I think I am. I just don't have an optic. I, I don't want to, and there's not a lot of cover here to like hide in a bush and try to get an angle. I think we just run in and shoot. do it. Let's get some stamina first. We're literally just gonna rush in. It'll be awkward if you lock the door. <laughs> uh, this is, might be crazy, but okay. Every time, there's no one in here. Every single time I do this. He's nearby. I think. Could still be somebody in the town. Let's, um... Let's skirt the town a bit and just scout it out. There's no cover at all. There's a base there at the church. I can see a tent. There's a zombie near it as well. See, I have no idea how long that fire's been burning it. I know it can burn a long time if you put logs in it. Where's the well at in this town? I, I can never remember. That's a weird house to build a fire in, too. It's not the smartest house to build. To build at. So it makes me think the person was leaving. The wells, they're not at the well. Maybe they were leaving the town, and so they... I need to get eyes on that base. We have no armor, but uh, we just gotta see if we can spot them before they see us. If there is somebody here. See what happened. They try to. Hello? They try to place this tent to climb over this, uh. This wall. It's not gonna work though. You can't get through those. I don't know why they did that. Alright, all right, let's go. No idea where this dude went. He could have went. He could have went towards Green Mountain. He could have went towards Leno. He could have went back that way. Unlikely. He could have went that way. I think he went this way towards VMC. Judging by the fact that he went to that last house. Let's go. This is why I need a PU scope so badly. Because I'm out in the open here with no range. Let's head up to Green Mountain, I guess, and uh, they'd go to check out those 
There's a base here. Hello, hello. Friendly, friendly. There's somebody in here that could shoot me throughout that through that top window, so I don't want to run up right here. I need to go further. Further down. Just keep my eye on that back window there. We're gonna go check up the check out the summer camp houses. I don't know where these dudes went. They probably went followed that road out out somewhere. Oh well. He's in there. <laughs> I'm playing uh, Baby Nate's hardcore, Baby Nate's Island hardcore expansion. B N I B N I H E B N I H E Yeah, I think he followed this road and just like went this way. I don't know. We're not gonna wait around though, we're look looking for him. Every time though I see like a fire burning in a house, it's always the same thing. I rush in and there's no one there. There's a base at Green Mountain, so no reason to really go loot that. Even though it's been raided. Actually, that's actually a good reason to go loot it, because it has it has been raided. But it's just like a couple, um, just a couple barracks, it's probably not worth it. But we'll check it anyways. That actually could be where this dude went. The fireplace boy. Let's go check it out. Imagine if Daisy got other types of zombies, like bomber zombies. <laughs> like suicide zombies. Yeah, we're gonna go up here to the Green Mountain Tower and check that out. Usually the tower does have pretty good loot. But the thing is that, that that town specifically, you have, just have no idea where they could go. It's like impossible to predict. Usually people check that town before they come to Green Mountain or after they come to Green Mountain. Usually Green Mountain is somewhere in the, uh, in the, in the travel, in the course. Okay, here we are. Gates are open. This used to be a base, but it got raided pretty early on in the server's life. Yep, yeah, they didn't come here. At least not lately. There's a zombie. Let's go check up in the tower, though. Oh, wait, I don't have a thingy. I swear to God, if I die here at the top of this ladder by falling off... I might rage quit, guys. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's happened twice in one stream. So if it happens again, that's a sign I need to get off. <laughs> oh, we made it. Server's Baby Nades Island Hardcore Expansion. Baby Nades Island. Hardcore expansion. And there is a little bit of loot. One box of ammo. So I need to check uh, this last barracks right here. Oh my god, there is somebody here. Dude, there is somebody here. 
I didn't even see those dead zombies. Is he in the barracks? Or did he leave already is the question. If he left, I'm super vulnerable up here, but if he... I'm either in the best spot ever. The door is open now. See, I'm either in the best... What the heck? How's he, how's he know it's me? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. How'd you know it was me? How'd you know it was me? Watching your stream. Why? Stream snipe me? Who's the guy with the fire? No, I'm not here to stream snipe me. I don't got any gear. I don't got any food. I'm about to die. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright, I'll come down. Don't shoot me. Down. Is there a delay on your stream? There's a delay on your stream. Yeah, yeah, there is a little one, I think. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Alright, how, how delayed is it? Because I have it on low latency. You are looking off the top of the tower right now on YouTube. Okay, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Are right, you need food, you said? Yeah, I'm red and declining. That's the one thing I don't have is food. Darn it. Alright, well, I guess we could... You can stick with me if you want, and we could try to get you some food. Go down to, like, the summer camp area. To be honest with you, I've never played this map until I started watching your stream. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright, alright. Just follow me. We'll go to the summer camp. You can always go fishing here and get stuff that way. So wait a second. I was right. You did come up here after you like you looted, you built the fire, and then you came up to Green Mountain. Okay. Green Mountain. Yeah, I cooked uh, I cooked some chicken. I gotcha, I gotcha. And then logged out gotcha. and then I saw you like, walking into town on stream and I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I predicted that perfectly. I knew it. But yeah, you were you were calling it out, right? Okay, it's just like down here. Um, maybe go fishing or something and get some food. Cause I'm yellow as well, so we probably both need to do that. Might be close. We could cut up. And I have bones for uh, hooks. I think. Oh yeah, I got plenty of bones. Probably not gonna be any food at this place here. But you never know. You can at least check it. Hey, you wanna just go ahead and grab a long stick? We can cook here once we fish. I'll 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 make the hooks for you. There you go. And I'll check the place out. Bam. Craft improvised hook. The stream does have like a little bit of a, of a, of a delay, but um, I have it on low latency, which is like the least you can have the delay. At least that, at least that amount that it lets me. But yeah, the trick of this game is you just go fishing. You'll have endless food forever. It just takes two seconds to go fishing. To mute me because it's making it here double. Yeah, I think he knows. He probably heard it already. Alright, we gotta go find him so we can fish. I need rope. How many, uh... Oh yeah, I don't have, like, any rags. Give 
Yo, yo. Where are ye? Where'd he go? Yo, yo. Oh, there you are. Alright, do you have any rope by chance or rags? Uh, yes. I'm good. Oh, nice, nice. Perfect. Three. We need three plus. We need nine more rags. We can make rope. Sometimes it's just the server that does it, though. He has rope in his stomach. <laughs> That's all yeah, I got it. Wow. Here we go. Might have to cut up some clothes. I need six more rags. I can maybe cut this up. Been watching you for years, learned so much for just from watching. Thanks for the call, dudes. Ah, oh, thanks, Burst. Very welcome. Need five more rags. Not a belt. You can probably might have to cut up your pants or something. Oh, I just need one more. I don't want to cut up mine. All right, let me see if there's one more thing at clothing somewhere. Just need one rag. something around here. I knew it! Perfect. This is good, though, because it means we're not gonna have to worry about food when we're out west. I gotcha. You need more than six. You need six plus six, right? Craft rope. And I'm sick again. God darn it. Alright, I gotcha. Oh, you found it. Found what? Oh, he's making a hook. All right, just give me some worms. We'll be good. Got plenty of these. This is a good... I need to find somewhere safe to... Right here is probably the best spot. Actually, no, no, no. Right here is probably the best spot do this. Wear that and cut your shirt. Oh, I love my shirt. This is my favorite shirt. I cannot believe I'm sick again. Oh my god. I should need to get I should need to get full and I'll be good. Yeah, you can cook this uh cook these fish as soon as they're I catch them. You just cut them up and take them up to the cabin. <coughs> oh 
Oh my gosh. Guys, don't get COVID. Trust me. Trust, trust, trust me. You haven't got it yet. Don't, you don't, don't get it. I don't recommend it. I feel like my taste is starting to fade because this water is getting blander and blander. Blander and blander. Where do you get worms? Uh, you just go up to grassy areas like this and you just look, look down with a knife. And that's how you do it. How's the throat? My throat is good now. It was like, uh, so when I first got, did I just lose the, I just lost the bait. Like when I first got COVID, the first three nights of it, I did not sleep. Well, actually, that's not true. The first day of COVID, I had really bad fatigue and tiredness, and I just slept like I slept like twenty four hours in a day. And then, um, the days after that, I did not sleep three days straight. No exaggeration. Couldn't sleep the first day because of a headache. Couldn't sleep the second day because of. Uh, the chills and I couldn't sleep or because of uh, a sore throat and I couldn't sleep the third the fourth day because of a sore throat like it was so bad I just couldn't get comfortable <laughs> COVID's worst throat pain ever it was horrible just swallowing made it feel like you got kicked in the nuts <laughs> oh here you go here's the first one Woohoo! you just cook them all or what do you do Oh, shot. That's kind of close. Uh, wait. What do you mean? Wait, what do you say? You cook the fish whole or you cut it up? Uh, cut it up with a knife and then you put it on the fire. Yeah, we got sick somehow. I think this one was from... Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was from. I'm going to head into Zelena after this because I got to kill somebody. All that fish hooks run. I gotta shoot somebody in the head. Uh, you don't catch one every time. Sometimes you get like a pot or something like that. You get a pot or boots or they, the fish just bites the bait off and you don't get anything. It takes a while to do, but you can, but doing it gets you a lot of, uh, a lot of food. When I have had COVID for the second time, I was able to smell and taste were fine, but my whole body was hurting badly like I got beaten up. I did, yeah, I didn't experience that. I think each type is... Each type of COVID is different, and for each person, it's different. So it's like... Like, if you look at the list of symptoms, it's like the same symptoms for everything. There's a big battle going on in Zelena. We're going to head down there. Don't worry. We're going to head there next. Got COVID the day before I did and was bummed that you weren't able to stream while I was sick. <laughs> I just watched. I'll tell you what, though. I The amount of TikTok that I watched when I had COVID is criminal. I watched probably every TikTok video ever posted. <laughs> this is why fishing is not necessarily the best not the best way to get well, it is the best way to get food but it's just kind of takes forever sometimes Beautiful. Shots are close. Beautiful. Yeah, it's in Zelena. Yeah. You need uh, medicine? Are you still sick? Yeah, I mean, I healed it, but now I got sick again. Echo, echo, I echo. I got Tetra, I got whatever you need. Mike had a conversation with myself. I'll take some if you got it. If you like, want to give me half or something. Gonna brew me up a, a 
potion. Nice one. That fishing is to take so one tetra. Thanks, man. I don't know if that will even do anything. Thanks for hosting the good server. Oh, you're welcome. It's it's too hard though for me. I, I we need to make it easier. I think it's not a good streaming server. <laughs> yeah, I do have the vitamins. The vitamins will heal it. Just one vitamin will heal it. <laughs> Change positions. There's not a lot of fish there. Does it matter where you where you're actually at? I'm gonna count one. I'll try it one more time. If we don't catch things, time I'll move. This is such a good spot, though. We've got plenty of cover. Nobody ever approaches this place from that side that I'm looking at. They always approach from up the hill, and you can see him crossing the bridge there and shoot him. There we go. Beautiful. I want to eat this carpy carp. heck was that? Oh, it's an old man. Alright, let's get this up. I guess we'll head down to Zeleno. Sounds like there's a pretty big gunfight. Okay, there's not even a fire in here. Sometimes you can, like, cook... cook even without a uh, with just rags let's try it let's see if I can cook these with just rags hey you have matches you have matches you have matches you light that light there's that. a fire going down below too oh Thank it's that you. where it is oh I'm so, so dumb well either one works but is that what I sound like in game? That's horrible. Do I really sound that loud? <sighs> I'm pretty sure I'm the guy who discovered that you can do this. Wait, this. <laughs> Your chat thinks I'm gonna kill you. It's hilarious. Can't do it now. Yeah, they always say that. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. I think I'm the guy who discovered the ability. I can't do it in this room, it's too small, but I'll show you guys. Pretty sure I'm the first one to ever do it. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna head out of here. Good luck to you. Oh, do you want this? Good luck to you. Oh, do you want this fishing pole? Yeah, sure. Thank you. All right. Good luck to you. To you. Take it easy. Okay. I shouldn't have the thing where I throw up. I should have the thing where I can just eat whatever. And it'll be fine. Ah! I have that same disease? Dude! I do not understand this game. I think I'm bugged. I've got to be bugged. It makes no sense. Ah. Uh. I can't go in I can't go down there now because uh I'm too sick. Uh I healed that I literally healed myself and then I 
I somehow got it again. Uh, that can't be right. I gotta be bugged. Wish I had some binoculars. All right, we'll just head to um, we'll head to Mishkino. That just makes that makes zero sense. Why I'm sick again with that same thing. Need to use vitamins for this disease? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a vitamin. What the? <laughs> this just makes no sense. Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, this game right now is just... Today has not been my day. It's just one of those days where it's just like the game just beats you to death. Other days, it's super easy. And I'm soloing on the malls. Can I just kill everybody I meet? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the... Vi oh, now I'm not sick anymore. What? Guys, t please tell me how this makes sense. I'm sick, and then I'm not sick, and then I'm healed, and then I'm sick again, and then... What? It makes no sense. I've got to be bugged. That was the fastest sickness I think I've ever had. Like, I got it instantly threw up. Now I'm good. Alright, I'm going to not check this town. I'm just going to go straight to the Machino tents. We've wasted enough time just looting today. Let's go to Mishkino Tents, see if we can get like a decent gun, and then we'll head down into Zeleno or up to Lapatino. Whichever one. Do I have a mask on? I do not. Negative. Okay, hold up, somebody messaged me. Oh wow. Cool, cool. Just found out I'll be making about thousand dollars from all my games that I'm selling. It's kind of cool. I, there's a new game store that like opened up near near my house where all my games and stuff are. My brother took it took them all over there today. Just the remainder part of my old retro game collection. Just the stuff I didn't have time to sell. And I guess that whole that store just wants to buy all of the rest of it in one go. That'll help pay for the server a couple months. Good, good. Look at all these infected. I've always thought this place is like, has way too many infected for just the two tents. It's like, what are they here protecting? Disinfect your hands or gloves. Yeah, you can disinfect uh, clothing, but. I just I don't I just don't know why you would. You don't. It's not like you eat your gloves or anything. I really don't know how the whole disinfecting thing works. To be honest. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of zombies on us. Cause I wasn't paying attention. Oh great. I'm thinking I might just shoot them. It's not that many. waiting to get my stamina up, then I'm going to run for it. Then I bring out the gun and shoot him.
I'm messing with these zombies right now. Not in the mood. Now we just need to get away from here and uh, we'll be good. I do need to get, um, I need to start collecting clothes again to get, uh, get enough to make, there's Mosquito Town. I need to be able to get another, um, fishing pole going. So I'm gonna have to fish again, most likely. I'm good at the moment. to go to the uh yeah i'm planning to go to i'm planning to go over there to um the summer camp area i'm hoping that i can find an optic for the for the bosun i said in the beginning of the stream i was going to play smart but i just got to the point now that I, this day has just been so unlucky that i'm just kind of playing now i'm not really being super super careful see it hasn't mattered the whole time that i, I was doing it Let's repair my gloves real quick. I'm I'm wondering what I should what I should stream tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe they did a big update on the mosque, and I know I'm. You guys know I'm not like a super big fan of hardcore in the mosque, but I might I might end up trying that tomorrow. It's a fun challenge. Today though was all about just kind of getting back into DayZ after not playing for over a week. And maybe tomorrow we can do a more challenging adventure. I already know I'm going to rip my hair out, but <laughs> I want to see the new what the, what the new stuff was they added in the mosque. Very curious. Take another vitamin. I know we don't need to, but let's just do it. For the heck of it. Boost our immune system a little bit. Alright, let's check this town and see if we can get some clothes together. And get another fishing pole. I've always loved the Mishkino town. I don't cut this is probably the, one of the towns I come to the least in all of Daisy. I don't think I've ever looted it on like fully in my whole life. But it is a cool town. Imagine there's a base in that fortress house, there usually is. I'm gonna kill that chicken too. As soon as you drank that, you got sick again? What was it that I... I thought I was eating um, fish and I got sick. Or was it when I was drinking? I can't remember. Another Mosin. This has ammo in it, looks like. One bullet. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, we need to get the rags from all these clothing. All this clothing. We can make another fishing pole, just in case. What does the icon mean by the pill? Yeah, yeah, it means, uh, means, yeah, means you're kind of over eight. But as long as you don't overeat too much, you'll be fine. I need to kill that chicken. I never come to this town at all. I don't I don't even know the layout. I died here very early in my Daisy career. <laughs> and because of that I've always kind of avoided it. But usually when you're out west this far you don't really need to loot towns anymore cuz you already have enough food and and clothing and all that. So it doesn't get looted very often unless there are people with a base here. Alright, where's that chicken at? Okay. I'm 
I guess there's not a base here. Unless there's new pants. Let's wear them. I'll keep these to cut up. Oh, there was a base here. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a base. I don't know if that's still an active base or not. Someone was in that house that you picked up the Mose and Emmer. There were logs in the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because right now, for, for whatever reason, um, fireplaces are staying a very long time on the server. I need to fix that. I just haven't had the chance to do it. That could have been there forever. We've, we've noticed that a lot in various houses. I'm just not sure what the... Uh, like, people want the, um, the stone ovens to last, like, beyond restarts and stuff, but I just don't know if there's a way to do it. Because I'm not sure what the class name of the stone oven is. And that's the thing. Like in the files, that's what you... You have to extend out the lifetime of the class name of whatever object. Before it to stay on the server through restarts. And I can't figure out what it, what the stone fireplace is called. <laughs> so I set it to fireplace indoor. And I guess that's not the correct answer. So I just need to go back in and adjust it. And those fireplaces won't stay 20,000 years. More daggum zombies. Here, another chicken. Need to kill that. Come on. This way. This way. Where's that chicken at? It's up this way, I believe. Oh, well, we'll listen for it. Need to hit up the well, and then I'll head over to the tents. Oh, wait, we gotta check these houses. I forgot. A million houses here. Uh, whatever. Let's just fill it up. They only stay like that if someone hasn't burnt them. Well, whenever I go into um, admin mode and I'm flying around looking down at all the <clears throat> all the stuff, like all the items on the server, like in the towns, all I see is a fireplace, 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 fireplace. Like a million fireplaces. It's because they're staying too long. Sometimes fireplaces are invisible. Like if they don't have anything in them, you don't actually see them, but they're th but they are there. And they're causing server performance. They're hurting the server performance as they sit there. Invisible. So that's why you need to lower them. Stone ovens, I'm just not sure what they're called. Their class name is. I need to look it up. It's not fireplace indoor. Fireplace indoor is when you have a fireplace and put it like in, an, in a house. It could be fireplace out, outdoors, maybe. Or improvised fireplace... Oh, it's just a zombie. False aggroing. The vitamins last too long. <laughs> they do, they really do. It's a mod that I added. I might remove that mod though. I think I will. Next wipe. Alright, let's just cut up all these clothing. All these clothings. Is that a word? Okay, we got six there. I can't wear these. I gotta wear these pants. These, I like these pants too much. Get. 
I like these pants too much. I gotta, I gotta wear them. Where's my knife? There it is. Dutch oven. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Okay, we need three more. Actually, do we? Maybe it's just nine you need now. Maybe they changed it. No, it's it's six. Or it's nine. I mean, it's twelve. This is a cool town. I'm. I still haven't figured out where I want to build at on the server. It's been a month that the server's been up and I still haven't decided. <laughs> this is a cool town though. I mean, it just takes a while to get out here. The only thing. So I guess if you don't mind dying and then running back, spending your whole day running back, be a pretty good place for a base. All right, here we go. This should be enough for the rope. Yeah, the stone oven that you build with rocks. That's the one. I don't know what the class name for it's called, so I haven't been able to set the lifetime correctly. But, um, it's probably some... It's probably... Yeah, I just gotta look it up. It might be, like, improvised oven or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I can do it. Let's build the rope. Craft rope. Uh, yeah, we're playing Churterus. Churterus the map called stone oven yeah but what's the class name the class name is like what it's called in the server files why am i wearing this hideous mask oh my gosh i gotta start checking that stuff all right got two more houses then we'll head over to uh, the tents and i uh, get shot i oh, am i kidding we're not gonna see anybody at the tents there's never anybody there Hey, Nate's watching again from the UK. Love the streams. Ah, oh, thank you, Frog. Wolves. That's weird how they're going around that house there, though. Oh, wait, no, they're not. They're coming to me. I had to say that's weird how they're going around the house. We have like a pistol that we can use for these. Good, good. Endless food. Don't even need the rope now. Or the chicken. Keep the weapon cleaning kit. Alright, we're... Let's just use this. Oh no! The wolves might be gone. Alright, we'll get back in. Just a second, guys. We'll get back in. I can't confirm, I still have taste. If you locked a, a wolf in a room and killed the rest and left, what would happen in that room, wolf? To that room, wolf. I don't know, the way the wolves act in this game, it would probably go through the door and run away. Yeah, I'm not kidding about that. It literally would. No, that was a server restart. That was a server restart. That was normal. tell you what though when you have covid you know what food tastes the most amazing you'll never guess what i'm about to say apples 
I have never been a big Apple guy, but holy crap. When I had an, when I ate an apple, when I had COVID, oh, that was the best food I've ever had in my whole life. It was so good. Just like the texture of it and the, not really even the, I mean, the taste is amazing, but just the texture of an apple. It tasted so good on the teeth. <laughs> That's all I ate when I had COVID was apples and water. <laughs> hey, we should be back up. What backpack is that and how many slots? It held, it holds a lot. It's just the, it's like an emergency backpack. It holds a ton. It's probably my favorite backpack in the game. I can't remember the exact name of it. I think it's called like the emergency bag or something. Am I in the queue? Yep. I'm connecting to the server. Okay. I'm in the queue. These are my, I'm wearing my favorite pants in the server, my favorite um, top in the server, my favorite gloves, the black wool gloves, and my favorite backpack. Uh-oh. Looks like the server. I think the server crashed there. Not sure. Yeah, emergency bag. That's it. Yeah, the server may have crashed there, or it's just taking a while to res... Could be mod updating or something. I don't know. Hey, Mr. Sinister. How's it going? But one thing I ate when I had COVID and I had a sore throat. I said this earlier. Was tomato soup. And it was like so acidic. It like, it like melted my throat. And it hurts so bad. I took one bite of tomato soup. <laughs> I regretted it. Yellow apples. Oh, I love yellow apples. Most of my life, I've liked the green ones, the Granny Smiths, but the ones I had during COVID were the, the red ones. The texture of them was really good. Cold apples aren't. don't do it for me. I like them... I like them room temperature. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like the only like fruit that I like not to be cold. Alright, we're getting back in. Oh yeah, it's like orange juice. Yeah, don't drink. I, like, I, I drank a Sunny D as well. And it hurt so bad. Red Dawn. Uh oh, what happened? In my mouse. Oh, we're getting in. I could chug spicy hot V8 juice. <laughs> it's like it's gonna get a style. <laughs> <coughs> there is one good thing though about the COVID sore throat. That was freaky. Um, like when you cough with it, it's not, uh, I think all those, yeah, all those, um, wolves are going to be gone. The ones I killed even, so now I don't have food. I need to get out of this town though after firing all those shots. Let's just check this one house. I've got to get out of here though after firing those shots. Super dangerous. Let's just bolt out of here. Firing shots in the town's okay if you're if you're planning to leave right after. It's the only time it's okay. I know we don't have food, but we gotta we just gotta go. I could go fishing later. Once I get to the river over here I can go fishing. After I check the tents and all that. Just head up the hill a bit. It's gonna be getting dark soon anyway, so. A good time to go do some fishing, night fishing. gonna do oh yeah reload these mags I wish you could pick up the wolves after you kill them like you can the chickens yeah the wolves despawn whenever the restart happens even the dead ones do 
which is unfortunate because now we don't have food. See you later, Salem. Thanks for coming in, man. Find a studying, staying buddy with vodka through previous sickness. <laughs> hey, whatever works, works. Like, I swear, when I was a kid, this happened. I'm not making this up. I had some kind of, I think I had the flu or something. I had some kind of sickness. I don't know what it was. I may have told the story before. Yeah, to this day, I don't know what sickness it was that I had, but... It was torturing me for like a week, and it was so miserable. And I was throwing up, and that was a horrible experience. I remember it even now. It was so bad. Anyways, uh, one day, I'm just down in the kitchen being miserable. I've been, I've had it for like over a week, and I'd missed so much school. There was just a, and I was really thirsty for some reason, but I was still sick, and I was afraid to drink because I would throw up. But anyway, my mom had just bought like a fresh two liter of coke coca-cola i poured it in a glass and i drank it instantly i was healed and i felt i felt perfect like i felt like i wasn't even sick anymore and it literally healed me and uh yeah i swear that's true there's a heli crash we're going for it change of plans going for the heli crash it's up this way it's not far we can get there like, I can't explain what happened there. Oh, we're going out west, too. It's perfect. We'll definitely get to this one first. We'll be able to spot it as well. I think. Okay, I don't, I don't see the smoke. It must be... It might be in the valley or something. Yeah, it's down here somewhere. Here's machine air tents. Yeah, I can't explain what happened with that, but it was crazy. Like, I don't know... I don't know those people in the Bible, what it what it felt like to be healed. <laughs> That's what it felt like to me. Like, I... Or, like, some... Like, I drank some medieval elixir. It just, like, healed my... All my diseases. I could walk again. I could smell and see. Alright, where did this thing fall? I know it was this direction. I'm skipping the tents because we're going straight for the heli. We'll come back to the tents in a second. Whoever's here is also going to go for it, so... There was somebody here. we got to be careful. It might be up on the hills. That's what I'm That's what I'm thinking. That's why I couldn't see the smoke. It might be, like, way up here. to get up up the hill and so I can have a good overview down to the valley and everything and I'll be able to spot it unless it's all the unless it, it itself is up on the hill which I think it could be reload the scorpion I don't have any ammo for the scorpion unfortunately matter of fact I should probably just ditch it I have no ammo for it. I need to get rid of that as well. I gotta find this heli. That's a big little hill up there. Let's go check that. Maybe see. Maybe see where it landed from up here. <coughs> it's 8 o'clock here. It's 8 o'clock p.m. more like over in this direction, wasn't it? I don't see any smoke. Let's get up here.
Yeah, I was thinking it could have been right there, but it's not. Dude. Where was this? Yeah, I'm thinking it's like up here. I thought it was like over in this direction. Let's go higher. You didn't even see the heli crash? Yeah, I didn't see it either, but I heard it. It was pretty far. I think it's up here. Or I think I'll be able to see it from... Maybe that tower. Maybe I can see it from that tower. There's a lot of heli crashes out west that are just like really far out in the trees. And the cool thing about them is if you find them, they're kind of hard to get to find sometimes because they're so far away. But when you find them, they have incredible loot on them. I think it's over there. There's a base here. There it is. Okay. Oh, that's an actual base base. There's a guy here. He may have, he may have left this base and went to the heli. In which case, he's already looted it. We'll go check. There's no way anybody would find this except that guy at that base. So I can't imagine there's anybody else out here right now. See a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. seen that happen before. I don't want to alert that guy, so I'm not going to shoot. Pouch. Combat knife. Magazine pouches. Okay, I may have built this thing up too much. <laughs> Vityaz. Oh, a defender vest, dude. I'll take that. Let's grab the Vityaz too. We're desperate. It's a good gun. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, that wasn't that good. I'll admit that wasn't very good. It wasn't bad. I mean, we got the defender vest. That's kind of cool. Might as well grab that combat knife while we're here. barely see. Just get out of here and reposition after we heal. <laughs> Alright, so I do want to go back to the tents, but I need to focus on food for a second.
And it's going to be dark, so maybe we need to do some night fishing. Then we'll, um... Yeah, yeah, we'll do some night fishing and, uh... Then we'll go into the tents. I think there's a creek down here. Yeah, here's the creek. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Guys, I can't have the light on for this, so... Alright. Oh, uh, thanks, Demetrius. Yeah, there's no key card, unfortunately. Yeah, we threw away the rooster, didn't we? Because we wanted to make room for... Um... Oh, yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah, we threw... Yeah, we threw away the, uh, the rooster. I thought I was going to get all this wolf... That wolf meat, but I didn't. It might be the worst Helicrest loot I've ever seen. <laughs> it was horrible. It was really bad. We got the Devender vest. Devender. We got the Devender vest. We got the Defender vest. That was the only thing good. Which is the new Windstrides thing. It's like between a, between a plate carrier and a press vest. So it's actually a very good item. And it looks great too. And it looks great too. Sound like one of those commercials. Um, okay. What do we got? I don't know, maybe I could build, like, out here in the western edge of the map. A cool area. I just hate running out of here after I die. I mean, the whole point of a base is you have somewhere to re-gear after you die. But when you have to literally gear up to get to your base, there's, like, no point. Okay, we got this. Let's, uh... Cannot see. <laughs> All right, if I die, it's not my fault. We just fired a lot of shots. Now we're down here fishing next to a creek in the pitch black with a light on. But I'll do it for you guys. Maybe some gamma. <laughs> gamma doesn't really work in Daisy anymore because they, they changed it to where it doesn't really help that much. Um... I swear, I'm gonna get, if I die, it's your all's fault. <laughs> Alright, we need to make a... I'll definitely be shot, too. If someone sees me, oh, they will shoot me in two seconds. Without hesitation. Daisy. Alright, let's do some night fishing here. Look at all the fish down there. One day, one of these days, I need to do like the fish trap because I've never done one before. I don't even know how to make it, but it's been in the game forever. I just never made it. There's like rabbit traps too, apparently. I never use them. Oh, we caught a fish. That was fast. A carp? What a tasty boy is he. I don't know. Now that I'm sitting here fishing, I don't know if I want to do Namals tomorrow. Because I know that's going to be a fish fest. It's going to be a fire fishing simulator. We could do Essaker, but I feel like Essaker's too easy. He get geared in two seconds. Uh, but there's so much action, so it might... We, we could maybe do Essaker. We could maybe do both of them, actually. And then maybe... Yeah, and if I'm still alive on this character, which I won't be in about 30 seconds. But if I am, we can continue on this character as well. We just hop between the three servers. 
Once I die on one, I can switch. Actually, oh, that's a great idea. We'll start at Essaker. No, we'll start in a mosque. Then we'll go to Essaker. We'll just play out a whole life. And if I die, I switch servers. That's the rule. It's kind of cool, I do. I got priority queue on, this, on day one, so that's where I would play. Alright, nice. We got it. Let's drop the vit, Yaz. We don't need it. Deer Isle. Thing is, there's no good Deer Isle servers for the in the U.S. Literally none. I have to play on a U.S. server, fortunately. I want to go up the hill a bit to make this fire. It's kept a little bit higher. We're right on the edge of the map. Bear country. Now it's getting too slender. Alright, let's just build here. Build the fire right here. It's a good spot. Tried playing offline survival games like State of Decay. I have played State of Decay, yeah. I played the second one when it first came out. Um, haven't played it in a long time. I haven't played it since it first came out. I was going to do like a video series on it actually, but I, n I just never came about. <laughs> you could be Deadpool, Wolverine, or Doctor Strange. Who would it be? Not Wolverine, because uh, I don't want to regenerate. Um, I'd probably. I wouldn't want to be Deadpool either. Oh, that's horrible. I'd be Doctor Strange because I know the least about him. <laughs> and the other two are miserable to be. Oh. <laughs> Turn light off in case he has night viz. I wish I had night vision. If anybody sees me out here, I'm dead. 100%. But chances of us, me, us running into somebody out here is pretty slim. Some firewood. See, this is what you're supposed to do when it goes night. You you focus on on cooking and fishing when it goes night. But people don't do that. They just log out. Which is totally not cool. Alright, craft fireplace. Yeah, I'm in the US. I'll, I'll give you that much. <laughs> eh. think I right, need a short stick Can you not use the cook stove in your inventory I don't have a oven I, I mean I don't have a pot or a uh, stove to put it on I could use it otherwise you need a um, you need a pot to put on top of this thing. Like there's the attachment, which I don't have. The guy that I met earlier had one. Should have got it from him. Been like, hey, you take the fishing pole, I'll take the stove. Now we need a hand drill kit. This is a long process to just cook. To literally just cook. Got to make the like. The... All right, let's let's go through this real quick. First. You gotta get rags, make the rope. You gotta take the rope, add it to a long stick to make the fishing pole. Then you need bones to make the hook, if you don't have hooks already. Then you gotta find the worms, you gotta dig them up. Then you gotta go fishing, then you gotta catch the fish. Then you gotta take a knife, cut up the fish. Then you gotta take the, the cut up fish, put it on a stick. Then you gotta take the stick, put it over a fire. First you gotta build the fire. And then you gotta wait for the fire to heat up. Then you gotta cook it. And then you gotta wait for a second, not eat it straight away, it'll burn you. It's a long process. See, I can't cook this yet because it's not ready. Huh. Hurry up! Huh. 
There it goes. Ah. Ah, oh, yes. I love camping. Like, IRL, I love camping. It's so fun. The best part of camping, though, <laughs> is eating. It's my favorite part. I don't care about being in nature and all, and building a tent and all that, and living and sleeping in a tent. I just like eating the, I just like eating camping food. Camping's dope. <laughs> then there's the debate about what's considered real camping. For me, it's not camping unless it's in a tent. Or out in the stars, under the stars. <laughs> or under the gasoline, as I should say in Daisy. Under the gasoline sky. I remember camp. Why do I have so many stories as a kid? It's like nothing interesting has happened to me as an adult. When I was a kid, I went camping and, uh... There's a bunch of adults there, and they tricked me into playing this thing called snipe. They tricked me into doing this thing called snipe hunting, and it's basically this made-up, like bird. I think it might actually be a re be a real bird, but it's like a made-up thing that you do to like young people when you take them out camping. It's like an initiation type thing, and basically what you do is you have them sit outside all night in the freezing cold with a with like a trash bag. <laughs> and they sit there and try to wait for like a bird called a snipe to show up so they can throw their trash bag over it and catch it. It's called snipe hunting. And obviously I fell for it. I'm sitting out there all night with a trash bag. <laughs> waiting for a bird that doesn't even exist. That's why you never camp with... Always camp with um, a bunch of friends. So you don't get tricked. I have a lot of funny camping stories. Camping food is the best. Yeah, I totally agree. There's something about about bacon, like when you're outside camping. It just tastes way better than indoor bacon. I don't know what it is. Outdoor eggs taste better than indoor eggs, too. Is that the bird in the movie Up? I'm not sure. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen that movie. Snipe hunting. Look that up. It's a real thing. Your grandpa tricked you into peeing in on an electrical fence camping? <laughs> now I'm kind of curious. What happens when you do that? <laughs> Is there any hardcore campers out there that they literally just live off the land when they go out? I've never met anybody that did it, but uh, that's the hardcore camping. You just go out there with a knife. <laughs> you don't even take a knife, you just go out naked. You find two stones to rub them together and make a knife, and then you, I guess you kill a squirrel with like a slingshot that you made out of yarn that you made from like pieces of Bark or something. I don't know. That's real camping. It's kind of funny that what people, what people used to do as like a way of life, we consider like a vacation now. Just camping. Just living outside. That's a vacation. Oh, great. Here comes the rain. Now we're good, though. I don't think the rain will put out the fire unless it just gets really hard. That's homeless. Oh. <laughs> Steak from a campfire is delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Why'd the rain have to ruin a beautiful night? Alright, we got an absolute ton of food. 
So once it becomes day, I'm gonna actually start making my way back towards Mishkino Tents and uh Oh, this isn't done yet. Whoops. Now it's done. I feel like I'm gonna get shot any second. Had Bobby hunting snipe all night. <laughs> uh, I think that is a real bird. But obviously, the pastime isn't real. The recreational snipe hunting is not a real thing. Outdoor sex is better than indoor. <laughs> I mean that's where we're that's where we're supposed to do it. All right, we got our carp. Let's get away from the fire. Let's get away from the light source and just turn on the light source on our head instead. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go back around towards the machine of tents. Hopefully, it's daytime by the time I get there. Just eat on the way. I love my character so much. I'll be sad when I die. How cool I look. Need to repair my pants, but other than that, I look so cool. Oh, what the heck is this? Something over here. I like how I'm hiding in the trees like it's like it matters. It's kind of town here. This would be a cool spot for a base. Oh yeah, did I ever tell this camping story? I may have. Um, so... Back when I was a kid and we would go camping, we'd always bring our bikes. And to, to like ride around the campground. And um... Anyway, one day... When we first got there one time, uh, I'll say it after I feel the sound. I'm gonna focus here. So when we first got to this campground, I was really excited to be camping again. So I was riding my bike super fast along the, um, like along the campground area. And I was, yeah, I had, I had my mouth wide open yelling at the top of my lungs. Well, I was, that's kind of obnoxious kid I was. While I was riding around and, um, I, st I stood up like on the bike yelling and a bumblebee flew into my mouth like at full speed. Like, it was coming full speed towards me, and I was going full speed towards it. And it flew directly into my mouth. And I, I, just, I was just, like, blown. I was, like, shocked. I didn't know what to do. So I closed my mouth, because I, I didn't know what it was. And it was flying around inside my mouth, and it stung me on the lip. And then I spit it out. And that, like, scarred me forever. That's the end of the story. But it hurt like crazy. Getting stung by a bumblebee on the lip after it's flying around inside your mouth? That's... That's the most disgusting insect related story I have. <laughs> yeah, after that, I never opened my mouth uh, riding a bike ever again. I learned the hard way. Uh, we have a lot of honeybees where I live. Lived. I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, my uh, my lip did swell up pretty big. It was my it was I think it was my bottom lip. The bee was still alive too, it flew away. They reminded me that must have been what it felt like in uh, Men in Black when that 
when that guy gets eaten by the when that giant bug eats that guy and then that guy shoots him shoots his insides out with the gun <laughs> it's like I know how that uh, giant insect felt now I hope I'm going the right way I can't even see I have no idea hopefully this leads somewhere you would have ate it <laughs> uh. I'm, I about did I think if it was flying any faster, I probably would have swallowed it. Okay, we're going the right way, I think. I think the tents are just up here. We're gonna loot them at night. Do I have any ammo left? I've got eight bullets. Yeah, I believe Moschino tents are just like right up here. We'll see though. I could be I could have went the wrong way. What is that? This is why I need to I need to shut up whenever I'm playing because I I get turned around and I don't know where I'm going. This looks like it leads to something. We'll see. I don't think I'm going. Wait, maybe I am. What's this, dude? Where the heck am I? I have no idea where I am. One of those modded houses. Hello? Oh my. Blackberries. Fruit tastes better outside as well. Blackberries would. Alright, which way did I come? I came... Wait, I came this way, I came... Okay, yeah. I'm in some kind of town. I don't know where it is. My guys up. I, gotta, I gotta stop doing this stuff. That's not a drivable car. I wish it was. Yep. Okay, nighttime shouldn't be too much longer now. I'll figure out where I am. We're in some town though. Somehow, I think I'm in this. I think I'm south of uh, Mosquito Tents. Got here. Tea. Finding food. What map are we playing today? Uh, this is um, Cherneris. Good old Cherneris. Uh, tomorrow though we're gonna be switching. Tomorrow we're gonna be switching um, switching maps every time I die. That's the plan. Today's just all about like getting back into DayZ. And I'm getting a feel for the game again because I haven't played in over a week because I was sick. Okay, which way do I go? Left or right? Let's go left. I think this is leading me to Zeleno. But I could be wrong. But I'm not. <laughs> Can you use duct tape to repair gloves? Do I have duct tape? Yeah, I don't have any duct tape. But yeah, you can.
All right, let's continue on. Hopefully this leads somewhere. Severe, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it is severe. Because here's the bridge. Yeah, it is. It's got to be. All right. Well, once it gets... I can't figure out how to get out of this town until it gets daytime. Because I'd never come here. So we'll just loot it as best we can. Maybe we'll get lucky, find a Winchester. And some 308. And a hunting scope. There's a light. Go check out the light. I know where we are. I just don't. I just gotta wait till it's daytime to find my way out. <laughs> oh my gosh. See you later, Bodie. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. Nah, I don't use a map. I probably should, to be honest. But some of these areas, I, I still don't know them, even after all these years. Even after 100,000 hours of Daisy, I still don't know them know them all that well. There's a well there. could just fill up with the rain, but it takes longer. Stay away from the light. I always gotta investigate the light. You guys know that. You guys should know that by now. Two things always hold true for me. I can't leave gunshots, and I ha always go towards the light. Even if I'm flashing red health, I'll, I'll still do it. Oh, it's a magnum ammo. This is definitely severe. We're very close to Zeleno. I wanted to go up to... I, wanted, I didn't want to go to, into Zeleno, but... uh. We're already going to be kind of close. We might as well just loot the military. There, we might we might get killed, but because we heard a lot of shooting there. But, I mean, I got a gun. There's no excuse. I got two guns. The light at the end of the tunnel will, will be put out during rolling. Wait, the light at the end of the tunnel will be put out during rolling blackouts. What a cool point. Alright, we gotta stop. We gotta stop fisting the zombies here. Cause I'm ruining my gloves. My favorite gloves, too. Let's take them off so I have to stop doing it. Alright, so yeah, here we go. All the way there. No, we're not that far. We're actually kind of far from Zelena. Let's go back to the tents. I kind of want to. Where's Moschino at? I can't read this. This map does not help me at all. Did I loot this already? I think I did. Yeah, I want to go. Uh, I want to go to the Mosquito tents. Just not sure how to get through from here. Not a compass. Sun rises in the east, sets in the west. Where's the sun? I see just gasoline in the air. That's it.
at night are zombies stronger? They're not. They're not. They're the same. They're the same anno annoying pest during the day as they are at night. During the night as they are at day. There we go. Now we don't have to build fires anymore. Somebody was asking that earlier. Got a gas stove. Alright, so I guess I go this way? Hold up. No, 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 no. I go this way. Pretty sure I go this way. To get back to Mosquito Tents. Oh, shut up. We're going this way. I'm like 65.8% sure. Summer camp first for PU. That would be nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll check that out on the way. I don't know which one we're going to hit first. I can't remember. Don't have a map on me right now. Should be like a long barn up here. If there is, then I'm going the right way. We'll see. There's the long barn. Yep, we're going the right way. So up this way is where uh, we're going. Mosquito tents area. I barely need the PU scope, though. You're totally right. Is that Zeleno down there? Is that Zeleno? Over yonder? I believe it is. Alright. Onward. Let's actually walk down let's actually walk down through here. Instead of going through the woods. I'm kinda sick of the woods. Yeah, this is my own server, Baby Nades Island Hardware Expansion. There's no traders now. If there was, I would tra I would trade in everything for medicine. So I'll never get sick again. Okay, so... I need to go this way, I believe. Let's head up and check that deer stand anyways. Maybe get a PU scope. PU scope. Wait, where's the deer stand? I lost it. It's like up here. There it is. How's the... How's the pop? Pop. 48 of 80. But it just... It just became day after after a long night, so it's gonna go back up. That's actually pretty impressive that 48 people stayed online during the night. Out of 80. It's pretty good. Normally, normally it like goes down to like 1 and I'm the only one on the server at night. The only one that has the has what it takes, which is uh, an audience <laughs> to watch you. <laughs> Literally, the only reason, probably. <laughs> I subscribed while you were sick. Good to see you're alive and well. Ah, uh, thanks, Matt. Yeah, we were out of commission there for. Oh, I gotta try something, guys. Yeah, we're out of commission there for like a week. I want to try this, guys, real quick. Let's so we'll see if it works. I've never done this before. It did take three shots, but that could maybe be useful one day. Need a bigger round to shoot at it, though. All right, let's go. Enough lollygagging. Let's 
stay near the river, I think, so I can... That, it's like right beside where the tents are. Yeah, we'll check again in a bit. And you, oh, wow, jackpot. MRE. This is the best food item in this server. See, we got some good stuff. We really do. We need to keep this uh, in, in the inventory. I don't know if you guys have ever had an MRE, but they're actually really good. They're very good. I eat them all the time inside the bunker. Alright, we're coming up on something. Is this the dam? I believe we're at the dam. Alright, game faces. We gotta check the summer camp and the summer camp houses and see if, uh... See if there's a PU scope. I think this is the dam. Looks like it. I'm gonna find a PU scope. It's gonna be here in the summer at the uh, in these cabins up here. I'm kind of hoping for. Hey Sean, how's it going? You love this loot route whenever you have a southern spawn? That's interesting. I've I've never done this kind of loot route before from the sap from like a fresh spawn. But yeah, I can see how that would be cool. Probably get some decent stuff. I guess going through Pavlovo and all that would be the dangerous part. If you actually could go through there. Like a Kaminka spawn. Alright, game faces. This is a high traffic area. Gotta be on our A game. Doors are closed to the cabins, looks like. To some of them, at least. Anybody with a Winnie on the other side over there can easily kill me. Easily kill me. That's what I'm worried about. Hunting bag. I would take that if I, uh... This didn't have a hundred slots. Need a PU scope, that's what we're here looking for. They are pretty rare, though, on the server. It's a hardcore server, so all optics are pretty rare. That's pretty useful to have. Chlorine tabs. CZ550 mag. That's a good find. Weapon cleaning kit. Let's take that. We... So far, no luck. I should be more careful entering these cabins and watching for bear traps, but I'm just so afraid of getting sniped. By somebody that's perfectly lining it up for when I enter or exit one of these buildings. Let's check these last row of cabins here. I can't really sit here and, like, look out and... Try to spot any snipers either because I'll get shot if I do. I stand still too long. Just that more ammo. I 
want to go inside the cab. Oh, more. More 308. Beautiful. Ah, no PU scopes. There might be one in the cabin. Most likely not, but we'll see. Looks like it was somebody's base that got raided. I saw some storage up here. Yep. Oh, this got raided very recently. This stuff should be gone, otherwise. Yeah, this stuff should be gone. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, bison, crossbow. Do I have any of those crossbow bolts? I don't. M72 law. It's a rocket launcher. Military tent. Wow. Forty-four Magnum ammo. Let's grab that. Is that an SKS? Please say that has a PU scope on it. I can't tell. Let's say it does. Stire Scout. There's a map. Oh wow, forty-four Magnum. I gotta grab that. I've never had that before. Let's grab this as well. Oh, it doesn't have one. Crap. MP5. I kind of want that. Now nah, let's just leave it. I'll take the Star Scout, though. Even though I don't have a mag for it. This stuff was looted very recently, like I'm talking minutes ago. There's no dead zombies here, so kind of weird. It's an SKS, MP5. I hate to stand up and actually loot this because I can get shot, but... I don't think there's a rocket in here. There's no way there's a rocket in there. Yeah, there's not. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Okay, what else did I want to check? Oh, you have MP5. Where's the MP5? Is it in this one? Oh, they got another one here. I don't know if I checked that. It's this other one. I don't know. We don't. We don't need the MP5. We'll just leave it here. Yeah, we don't need that. All right. I think that's good. I need to get out of here. <clears throat> There's somebody around. I don't know where. It could have went towards the tents. Could have went towards my shots a second ago. I don't know. But uh, let's go. First off, let's run behind the thingies. We're gonna head to the tents over here. I want to take a look at that Steyr Scout as well. See if it has a mag in it. Because I have ammo for it. And it has an optic already. Which is cool. It's not as good as the Mosin. But if it has an optic, it might actually be better. Oh, it does. Sweet. Beautiful. Um, let's repair it real quick. Is that blood black? Blood black. See the magnum? Yeah, yeah. We'll pull out the magnum in a sec. Let's have ammo for it. 
I'm gonna load up this thing though. I might ditch the shoddy. I'm gonna ditch the shoddy. This gun is really good for unconning people, and it's super accurate. Ditch that magnum. I've never used this gun, but 44 magnum, it's gotta be good. I'll try to get a magnum kill if possible. Okay. Beautiful. I need to get this, this uh, non mill ammo out of here. And we'll head to the tents. Scout isn't bad. Yeah, the scout's pretty good. It's just that it 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 really just uncons people. It doesn't really kill them most of the time. They have armor at least. That's my that's the only downside of it. I like it. I don't have the best optic on it, but it's okay. I've got plenty of sidearms. I think if I see somebody and I can get close to them, I'm going to kill them with the magnum. I'm going to put all my guns away and kill it with the magnum. At least I'll try. I'll attempt it. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Alright. Let me put a 9 volt in here, or a battery in here real quick. If I, have, if I even have one. Yeah, I do. There you go. Alright, let's head over towards the tents. We're not fully geared, but we're nearly there. My stamina is completely shot right now. I want to try something. Is this better? Is this a better optic? I think it might be actually be. Yeah, I like this better. Let's go with this one. The magnet need repaired. I didn't look. I think it's good. Yeah, it's pristine. Alright, so here's the tents up here. We gotta be careful because we know that there's a guy that had just looted that place and probably got some the best stuff that was there. Because he left all the crap for me. Which I thought was pretty good stuff actually. Which means he must have really good stuff. For him to leave that stuff. We'll see, though. One of the problems is that a lot of people out here, though, they're already geared because they have bases, so they just come to these places for PvP with their fully geared stuff. Their amazing guns and, and armor and everything. And it, little old me, I'm just out here looting because I don't have I don't have anything good. So I'm at a huge disadvantage. So I gotta be really, gotta be really careful and not do, do anything too stupid.
don't see any dead zombies in there. Doors are open. I mean, closed. We're going in here pistolero style. Oh crap, I want that. Please don't say it's on me. Step on a landmine or something. SKS there. I need to keep my eyes on those SKS because for PU scopes. AK 74. Ah, oh, I want that. But I just don't have a mag for it. And I can't triple carry it. If I find a mag for it, I'll I'll come grab it. Heavy LMG pouch. I don't think that fits on anything currently. I need to probably remove it. Suicide Tower, here we go. No way. Code lock jammer, oh my god. Dude. I know exactly where I want to take that. I know exactly where I want to take it. I want to go back to the Machino Tents, where that door is. I'm going right now. Or not Machino Tents, Machino, um, town. Remember where that door was that we saw open? I want to go back there. That code lock jammer. Let's go. Wait, Machino Town is it's really close. It's just through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. I'm hoping that's the only door they have. <laughs> at that, um, at that beige house. We went in there and the base was looted, it looked like. But there was a single door that was left open. Or that hadn't been fully raided, I guess. We just got a code lock jammer so we can get inside. I've never used one of these live on stream. I've actually never used one in the server. Maybe get some really good stuff, depending on if it's a base or not. Which I don't know. Let's see. Or it could have already been raided. It'll be worth it. To at least check out. Just over this hill. Yeah, that's a uh, Machino Tents. It's like a lightly, lightly modded Machino Tents. It's basically the same, it just has a couple... He saw me. I'm not gonna be able to... This guy's pretty geared. Pretty sure he saw me. I need to get close to him. Ah, oh, crap. Do I fight this or not? Ah, oh, man. I don't know what gun this guy's got. He might have me vastly outgunned. No clue. I think he saw me and he laid down. Which means he could have he could have had an angle on me or something. I don't know. 
flanking him pretty hard. Trying to count it behind him. It looked like a, he was wearing a knight's helmet. He saw me, though, like, while I was trying to get a good shot on him. I'm directly behind him now. I probably, I don't know if I should fight this, but, because I don't have very good guns for this area. He has like an AK or something, I'm in trouble. He laid down. Weird. There he is. Oh my god, I missed again. Why does he have his hands up? Oh, he pulled his gun out. He pulled his gun out. He had his hands up, and then he just pulled his gun out. What the heck is this guy doing? He's dead. I headshotted him. That would have been amazing if he had uh, unpinned that grenade. Weird. Grab these nades. Alright, I want this, um... I'm sorry whoever that was, but... I can't take any chances when I've got such valuable loot on me. He did pull his gun back out. Um... Here, we'll drop his stuff. He can come back and get your stuff, whoever that was. Let me uh, put it in the backpack. If you're watching the stream. It seemed like you might have been. <laughs> so, here you go. Just come back. It'll still all be here. Why would he not fight? He had a pretty good chance. He had a, he had a one-shot kill weapon. Alright, there you go. There you go. Wait, where's that back? Look like he had a knight's helmet on, but I guess not. I had to go through this stuff. I too much crap. Um... We gotta get to town. Okay, the scout was pretty good there, but it's only because I got a headshot. It's the only reason. I want to go loot this base over here. And I'm hoping this base hasn't been touched yet. We'll see, though. Okay, we're at... Is this Machino Town? Wait a second. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's over here. It's over here. Going the right way. Carrying too much guns? Yeah, I know. I don't know. I'm going to drop them. See, the, I'm in that weird position now where I've got... I don't have anything that great, so I just have a lot of, like, medium-level crap. But I'm hoping we can get inside this base here, and if it hasn't been looted, and get some good stuff. We'll see. We have the code lock jammer. I think I better have picked that up, or I'm gonna cry. Yeah, here's the code lock jammer. So we should be able to get into this base that we saw earlier. It just had a single door on it. Maybe it's been looted, who knows. Oh, 
one way to find out. Did that guy put his hands up? I couldn't tell. It looked like he did. That was too far to really know for sure. Alright, it was in that beige house, wasn't it? Like over here. There, yeah, it's in this house here. Before I go in there and look, I just want to make sure there's nobody at the well. Okay. Yeah, we were here earlier today. We came in here, and there's a single door here. Where's the code lock? I've never done this before. Jam code lock. So you just hold it down for 30 seconds. And it opens the door, and the door stays open for about 30 minutes. Repair your gloves and pants. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I don't have any way to do it. I don't have any duct tape. I would do it. Oh, he did? Oh, crap. Let me... Ch I'll have to check. I'll check. There might be some up here. I don't know. I hope this hasn't been looted, but you never know. <laughs> they probably don't have very good stuff. They couldn't even finish this door here. So they probably don't have anything too good. I have a sewing kit? Okay. You're in this area all the time, now you're not that I'm here. <laughs> okay, this is the longest 30 seconds ever. I don't think it's 30 seconds. I think it's a little bit longer. Alright, we'll, re we'll repair everything once I get inside. I don't know if that guy was a stream sniper or not. I did fire at him before he, uh, before he put his hands up. I think he just had a really, maybe he just had a crappy gun. He didn't want to fight with it. He's rather just surrender. Yeah, we're playing Baby Nate's Island Hardcore Expansion. Baby Nate's Island Hardcore Expansion. Okay, it's not 30 seconds. It's like three minutes that you can hold this down. Oh, this is nothing. I've, I've literally held my finger down for 45 minutes straight once just to get through people's bases. My finger about fell off. Guys, I hope it's something good in here. I really do, but you never know. This base could have been raided. Um, or it could have moved. Or could everything could be deleted. That's kind of unlikely, but it's possible everything's been deleted already by the... Because it hasn't been. Or it could be a bunch of locked storage I can't access anyways. I don't know. We'll see right here. Okay, it's been looted. Oh my! A green key card! Just sitting here. Dude. That's already worth it. You know what that means? We gotta get to Tizzy. That is the weirdest base. Yeah, it's been raided, but why did they leave that? That's a working green key card too. All right, so where's the nearest? Where's the nearest green key card room? That's the question. I gotta think. Okay, where's this sewing kit that I allegedly picked up? There it is. Nice. Drop the fishing pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will. We will. We don't need it anymore. 
Well, that was disappointing and yet really good at the same time. <laughs> uh, green key card, that could go to either Tizzy. The Tizzy radar station place, which I'm kind of far from there. Or I could take it to the coast and... On that small island. I believe. I don't know. I was going to go to La Patino next anyway, so I might as well just go up that way. We can actually get some really good... We can get some incredible stuff in the green key card room. I guess we'll head up that way next. Let me... Uh, cooking pot, yeah. I think the cooking pot does have some storage in it. I gotta fire this magnum. I wanna see how it sounds. Beefy? Very beefy. Hey, William. How's it going? Yes, have the e yeah, put the MRE in there. That's right, that's right. I don't know how good this gun is. I'm very curious to shoot somebody with it. Hunting bag. Alright, I guess we're gonna go... I need to ditch some of this stuff. You guys are right. I really do. I'll ditch some of it. That scared me when I saw that guy. I thought it was like a begin... I thought it was like... Like a big group or something that was coming through. I was like, oh crap. Cause I know I, ca I gotta fight him. I can't let a group like that pass me. It turned out to be just one guy, and he had kind of crap weapons, so... Let's drop all the 357. We're never going to use it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna eat. We're gonna free up a bunch of space here. That's the plan. Uh, what else? What else? What else do I need to do? See, I never organize my inventory until it's like the last moment. Until all. Until it's fallen apart, then I do it. Okay, how much did that give me? About half stamina. It's not too bad. Yeah, and I got the MRE in here. Got the 45 or the 44. The Glock 19 is back up. Weapon cleaning kit. Let's just ditch some of this ammo we're, we're not going to use. I need to get that PU scope. Yeah, yeah, I thought we did replace the Magnum ammo already. So I'm crazy. Yeah, we did. We replaced it already. Onward. It's like you're out of focus. Picture quality. I have no bandages? Oh, you're right. Oh, God, we got... Let's go check this house real quick. See if there's, like, a shirt. Thanks for pointing that out. I totally forgot. I really don't have any bandages. I could use my, my sewing kit, though. That would work, but I don't want to do that.
Gotta be a shirt somewhere. Nope. We'll find one. Oh my god. That zombie scared me to death. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to hit this thing? The way they move sometimes. All right, we'll just have to keep keep our eyes peeled. We'll check whatever we come across. Hopefully, we'll find a shirt or something we can cut up with the rags. Hey, Zip, how's it going? If you guys had to choose a pistol in real life, what would it be? 1911's a cool gun. I've never fired it though. Depends on what we're using it for. Home defense, zombies, target shooting, collectible, collecting, all of the above. <laughs> I don't know what I would pick. I'd probably pick the good old fashioned Glock 18. Full automatic. Just because, I mean, if someone breaks into your house, you don't have you don't have to worry about aiming with that thing. Just gotta just gotta hold it up and pull the trigger. And you're good. <laughs> Is there a vault map for the servant? There's not currently, no. I didn't, I don't really want there to be, then it's a little bit, I don't know if I should tell people where the, where the vaults are. I mean, everybody kind of knows by, by now, but. Maybe I should, I don't know. Why are the adventure is you explore and you gotta find it, find where everything is. Fun of it. All right, let's check the pop real quick. I know one guy just rage quit. See, now there's 72, so it's getting up there. 72 out of 80. Next wipe, don't tell anyone where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooks! Welcome to the bunker, man. <laughs> Thanks for becoming a member of the channel. I really appreciate it, dude. You now have a reserve spot in the bunker, alongside me. Not like along, not next, right next to me in the same bunk, but you get what I'm saying. Alongside me in the room, the Sherry room. Wolfy wolves, we gotta go this way. I kinda wanna get out of the west a little bit anyways when I'm heading this way. We gotta get to Tizzy. Actually, let's check La Patino checkpoint, and then we'll go to Tizzy. That's what I said we were gonna do originally. There's the castle. That's a base currently, so there's no reason to even loot it, because we're not gonna be able to get anything, so just leave it. Without a vault map? I mean, I can just tell you where they are. Or you can just ask and people answer on the Discord. Um, Tizzy is the green and the yellow. There's the green is inside the satellite dish. The, the yellow is under the HQ building in that bottom area. Um, Northwest Airfield has a yellow and a purple. The purple one is in the middle of the airfield. 
The red room is on the aircraft carrier near Electro. Um, the blue room. There's another yellow room at Altar. See, I can't remember off the top of my head. I gotta think about it. <laughs> and yeah. There's other, there's other ones at other places. But if you ask in the Discord, people will tell you. Just say, like, where's the nearest... Where's the red blue... Where's the red vault? They'll all tell you. Part of the adventure is, like, after the new wipe will be... That I'm not gonna show any... Tell anybody where stuff is. Alright, we're here. We need to go... We need to go almost directly west from here. To get to the checkpoint. It's like right over this hill. It's on the opposite side of that hill. <laughs> Dual G19s. Yeah, I mean, you want something reliable. Something really reliable. Something that's tried and true. Something where there's plenty of ammo for it. We're in like hot traffic area, like high traffic PvP murder area. I gotta be careful. It just, it's really sucks not having a good long range weapon though being out here. Oh, it's horrible. Ellie crash. I don't know though. Is it worth going to that? It's kind of out in the open. I don't have long range. It's probably been looted on a 70, like a 75 pop server. I don't have binoculars, do I? No, I didn't pick them up. I saw them earlier. I want to check it. That server restart wasn't long ago, was it? might actually be worth checking. It's almost guaranteed been looted, but... We have the yellow, key, or the green key card. It's quite a bit to lose. I gotta check it out. Gotta check it out. Oh man, I gotta walk through this big open field. Let me try to use the trees. This might be suicide, guys. I vote avoid the chopper. <laughs> yeah, go, but be careful. I'll try to be as careful as I can. I do not like this at all, but I mean, I can't, I can't just leave it. The part that's funny though, is that it's probably been looted and I'm risking my life for nothing. What a horrible area. I really need a good, I need some good stuff though, if I'm going to survive in tizzy and I've got okay stuff but like if I run into a bear or something I'm oh what the heck was that oh there's a wolf okay Made no sound whatsoever. Just attacked me. I've already died at one heli crash on this server. Ah. Hey, the zombies are still there. Interesting. Interesting. It's so open. Oh my god, it's so out in the open.
I need to eat? What in the world? Alright, we'll eat after we kill- let's kill the zombies and loot this really quick. I have, sp I have space here. Gosh. I don't think this is being looted. Oh, mouse got stuck. What was that thing I s What was that gun I saw? Hey, what is that? Oh, it's a belt! Okay, this loot might be crap. Bows and ammo need that. I know I'm bleeding. I know I'm bleeding. I'm not can't deal with it here though. Okay, that's all crap. Darn it! Right, let's get into cover down here, then we'll heal our wounds. That was really bad. I think it's been looted though. Cause there's just no there's no way it was that bad. That was horrible. Guy's heading for heli very soon. What? What guy? What are you talking about? I can't really camp it out because I don't have... I don't have a good optic. Like, even right here, being really close. Look at that. I can't... I couldn't hit a dude. Most likely. Get in these trees here. I need to eat and I need to bandage. Oh wait, I forgot I don't have bandages. Okay, it's okay. I gotta remember, I gotta focus on that. Past guy running in train tarks. What? Red back in chat. Guy was on railroad tracks running into town. He's in the zone. Wasn't a guy. Thought so too. Was lamp. <laughs> okay. Was it a lamp? <laughs> I see. The thing is, if I sit here and it turns out to be a lamp, I'm gonna be sitting here all day waiting for a lamp to loot the heli. Without a good optic, I have to get really close, which means it's going to be really dangerous for me to wait there. I'll probably just end up getting shot. If we could confirm it's a guy, then it could be worth it. He's running into town along the train tracks. Yeah, it's probably just a lamp. Look like a player. I don't know. You might be right. Regardless, I can't... Like, I, I don't have a good view of it at all. Well, actually, I can see pretty well from here. But I just don't have a good optic to shoot somebody that's there. If I had a PU, it would be a different story. I need, like, an ACOG at least. Let's go to La Patino checkpoint. We can maybe find one there. Then I can actually pick some of these fights and do some of these distance fights. Right now, I just don't have any range. I need to get out of the fields. So I'm just, I'm literally just playing with my life at this point. I know we'll be able to get an optic once we go to the green room for sure. 100% will be able, will be good there. But we can at least check La Patino, see if there's one there, and then we'll go to the green room. Oh, stop beating your throat. I wasn't paying attention. Lapatino's tier. It was a player, at least in your view. Okay, so which way was he running? I got a feeling I've, I've lost him now, probably. He's running into town from the train tracks. 
Ah, uh, whatever, guys. We're, we just gotta leave for now. We'll run into other people. I'm not too worried. It was sounds like it was a long time ago. Maybe we'll run into somebody at Lapatino or, or Tizzy. We'll get him. Towards the construction facility. It was a player. All right. You might be right. Dang it. I don't know though if we should go back. On just a hunch like this. Let's just go to Lapetino. Just let you guys know that the war in Ukraine and Russia Putin's thinking about using tactical nukes in Ukraine's World War Three is going to happen very soon. I know Putin's an idiot, but hopefully he's not that dumb. But you never know. Russia does have nuclear weapons, but how many of those are actually operational? I can tell you one thing, the US has a lot of has a lot of nukes, but a lot of them aren't operational. And they're not very they're not kept up very well. Like it's not like a top priority to to maintain them is what I'm saying. At least I read that on the internet, so it has to be true. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my g. Jackpot. Jackpot. We just got the best gun in the game here. With an optic and everything, and I have ammo for it. Alright, forget the Mosin, forget the Scout. Yeah, we don't need any of this crap anymore. Uh. Let's go back to the heli crash. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not go back to the heli crash. Although it is tempting, isn't it? I'm kind of worried about carrying around this ammo because I don't want it to mix. Hopefully it doesn't. <sighs> yep, we got it. We got what we were looking for. The best gun. If I could have any gun, I would pick this. Besides maybe the Winnie. This is better than the Winnie, though, to be honest. I hate to say it, it's true. It's that double shot. You don't want to mess with that double shot. Uh, let's see here. What else can we drop? Bam. Um, I'm thinking now, if there is a dude there, we could easily kill him. Alright guys, what do you think, um... So we, should we go to Tizzy, go to the green room and get maybe like a rocket launcher? But most likely we won't see people there is the thing. I don't want to shoot people. Or should we go... Maybe to the coast and go to the other green room. And on the way we can see if we can see, find people and shoot them. I don't know. My call? Okay. Tizzy. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll go Tizzy Green Room. That's a good enough idea for me. If I die now, I have no excuse. Might as well hit up La Patina. We're already here. Oh my Jesus. I got a thousand wolves. I figured I might... Yeah, let's use the pistol for this.
I think they're running. Yeah, they're running. Yeah, we badly need to go to that clinic. There's a clinic just down the road there. We could maybe check that out in a sec. I think I only have one bandage left on my... thingy. Need more non mill. I should have picked it up earlier, but I didn't. Now nah, we're not going to get a wind infection. Um, I disinfected the. Uh, see, it's disinfected. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to worry about. Uh, what we're gonna do? I was gonna do something. I forgot. Oh yeah, it's gonna cut up the wolves. Just for a little extra meat in case I need it. And we'll head head over to. I don't know that if those wolves are there. That means there's nobody at Lapatino. So I don't really care to go to Lapatino now. We'll just skip it. Or Lapatino checkpoint. We'll just skip it. Go straight to Tizzy. So I, if there's nobody there, then there's no point. So I'm, I'm here to murder people. We got our end game. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. I do want to hit up the clinic, though. On the way to Tizzy. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I do need to repair the suppressor separately. But I think the, uh, I think I wasted it all, didn't I? Yeah, I don't have any more gun cleaning kit. I repaired it on the gun. It's okay, we'll find another one. Isn't that a cool name for a gun? The Blazer Luxus. That's the IRL name of it, I believe. Old Faithful, as I like to call it. Start moving on to Tizzy and scope out some towns and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. I scope out stuff. I do need to go to this clinic bad. This is like the last thing I really need to loot is medicine and bandages. I'm pretty much fully geared, what I would consider to be fully geared. The only way I can really improve my 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 character is to either get like a is to get like an M4 or an AK or something. Some kind of good backup weapon that's close range, full auto. That does a lot of damage. You can probably find that at in the green room. I'll find something good. I'm sure. Bandages is what we need. We need bandages is what we need. There we go. That was easy. Sometimes they... Ooh. Now we've literally got our full end game. Alright.
still need to get like a shirt or something to cut up. We just see. There's one in here real quick. Bunker is coming along very nicely. Like, I haven't been doing much work on it since I've been sick, but... It's pretty much the same, actually. <laughs> There's a shirt. Or something I can cut up, I mean. Some rags. Alright, that's good. Let's go. Range finder. I don't really need range finders because I, I don't fire shots at people unless I'm within 300 meters of them. So I, and I'm guaranteed to hit them. I just realized I've never climbed up this ladder before here. I've never been on top of this. I gotta check this out. I've never been up here. That was risky, but... Cool. That was fun. I've never been up there. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get a tizzy. It's just up that way. If I see anybody run in the field, I'll shoot them. How difficult is it to get a base up as a solo? Um, on this server, see on normal servers I'd say it's pretty hard. On this server it's not as bad. And there's one reason why. It's because we have storage that can be locked with uh, code locks. <clears throat> so all you need to do is find like a, like a weapon or like a gun safe, which are pretty common. You can pretty much find a gun safe in every... One in every like three towns that you check or something like that. It's maybe it's not that many. It's like one in every five town, big city, big towns you probably find. So just find one of those, put it in a box, put it in your backpack, and then find a code lock. They're not too hard to find. Like I found two code locks in like 30 seconds once. Um, then you can just put that in any house, and there you go. You got a st you got a, a safe spot to store gear. Then you have time to like collect nails and all that and build around that si the gun safe. So it's actually not too bad for base building as a solo on the server. I made it that way on purpose. Other servers though, you don't have that option and you need to like go out and get all the parts before you can even protect your gear. You have to like bury it for like the first like week. So you have all the nails and stuff to build the base. But um, if you build in kind of a small spot, like here's the thing with this game. People don't take this into account as much as much as they should. If you're a solo, don't build in a building that looks like that's like it's like super defensible and all this stuff because then people are going to see it and they're going to think, "Oh, this guy's got good stuff. He's in a really good building location." So they're more likely to raid it. If you build in like a little house like that little house there, you're not going to get raided most likely if it's in like a random spot. I mean, you might get raided still, but you're less likely to get raided if you build in like a small house. Because they won't think you have that have as much or they won't think it's worth it. I mean you saw how easy it was I raided that base, but that just had a single gate on it. I had COVID two times and all I got got it was and all I got from it was a small cold. Oh, you're very lucky. Yeah, that's kind of what I had was a uh, basically just cold symptoms. I had a really bad sore throat. Like it was super painful to swallow. But I, luckily I wasn't coughing like along with the sore throat. That's when it's the worst. I need to build something here. I don't know what needs to be here, but there's not, something needs to be on this plateau. It's too cool of a spot. Just kind of wasted. <clears throat> it's better to roam with what you have and don't worry about a base. 
For some people, I guess they, they would prefer that. I like to have a base. Not really for storing loot, but just for like a place I could go to to like lay low. After I do like a long run. And bring it, I don't know. I like having a project in mind. I prefer, like I like base building servers for, for myself to be able to build, but I don't like them as much to like play PVP on. <laughs> Because a lot of people sit in their bases. Uh, right next to West Evac? Nah, I'm not. I'm near Tizzy. Heading up to Tizzy. We're gonna try to... We have the green key card, which we stole from that base. So we're gonna... See if we can, um... Get something good? It might have been open though. I, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Somebody may have opened it already. We'll see though. had the flu and COVID at the same time. Oh my god. Well, how did you know which one was which? They have very, very similar symptoms. I think it's, uh, I think it's a lot of, it's like genetic too. Like how bad your COVID's gonna be because I have, I have a friend's, I have like a friend, his entire family got COVID. They all went to host. They all went to the hospital and got put on ventilators. Then my whole family got it, and it wasn't that bad for any of them. So I don't know if it was just a different strain of the virus, or if it's a genetic thing. I don't know anybody that had it and had no symptoms, though. I know that was pretty common, but I was I I don't think they were vaccinated though. No. I was vaccinated like originally. I did the first one and I did the backup. I did the first and the second. Then I didn't get vaccinated after that. Out of sheer sheer laziness, not like I have like a a reason. I just just too lazy. <laughs> it's a guy I worked this at it three times and your brother almost died. Jeez. To Tober, one of my uh, admins, you guys know him, I've played with him a lot. He had COVID really bad. And uh, he told me that he he got it and uh, he like went to, he went to sleep one night or something and he when he woke back up, three days had passed and he was in the hospital with tubes in his throat. <laughs> I guess he uh, I guess he had went in a coma and he had no idea. He was extremely lucky. Because apparently that's that's a that's a really bad sign if you like lose if you go into a coma and like lose consciousness and all this. It's like a it's like almost guaranteed death or something. I don't know. I don't know what the exact statistics are. Statistics. Statistics. My grandma had COVID and she died, but I don't think it was. I don't think she died from COVID. She probably just died of old age while she had it. <clears throat> Alright, game faces. We're here at the satellite. This is the green room. I hope there's nobody camping it. But you never know. You never know till you just go in. from the uh, the north side. It's the safest uh, side to enter the place from. It might have been opened already. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe get it. We'll either get a law rocket um, 
an RPG, or I'm not sure what the other guns are that you can possibly get. You only get one gun at a time with, with ammo. I really hope it hasn't been opened. It's gonna suck. Has it been opened yet? Jackpot. Got a RP, uh, rocket launcher. We got an awesome kill with this last time we had it. Uh, code lock jammer. Let's take that. Where did that? What did I do with that play here? Late carrier. Let's take the MRE as well. Yeah, we need this. Oh, I guess I'll take the 357. And the plastic explosive. And we'll take that. Okay, nice. Bam. Bam. Now we're decked out to the gills. I'm going to drop this. I don't have any. Yeah, the pistol suppressor's still worn. Oh, wait, I forgot. We can't. I forgot you can't put a suppressor on that. Never mind. I'm not going to take it. Plastic explosive. This thing's super powerful. Um, we don't need. You know, we, we don't even need this meat. Let's be honest, guys. We have so much food. We don't need it. Let's just get rid of it. Where's the uh, thing? Okay, there. That's for the plastic explosive. We gotta remember that. Uh, see what else? Uh, why'd I say it like that? MRE, let's take that. Let's get rid of all this. We don't need it. I can just kill a deer or fish or something. If I even need to. I don't think I'm going to even need to at this point. So yeah, we got enough crap here. We could literally raid a base. Uh, let's get out of here. Get out of here before the server restarts and I get trapped. I was kind of hoping... I mean, the rocket launcher is cool, but... I was kind of hoping for like an AK or something. Something different. I want to get a bunch of lock. Oh, that freaked me out. I thought, like, there was a weird lighting glitch. I thought that guy was, like, spawned in on top of me. I want to get some law kills. If anyone shoots at me, I'm just going to open up on, on them with this. <laughs> All right, so next plan is to go to Northwest. Oh, wow, this is super heavy. I'm gonna have to drop some stuff. I can't carry all this. I forgot that I with the plate carrier. It's really, it's really heavy. Uh, all right, we'll we'll get away from here for a bit. Let's let's get rid of that. It's too heavy. How much did that weigh? Five kilos. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want at least near half my stamina. I'm not gonna loot uh, Tizzy right now. But I will take a look down there real quick just to see if I see anybody. Of 
cool thing about the uh, the grenade, the rocket launcher is, you don't even have to hit them. You just gotta hit kind of relatively near them on the ground, and it kills them. It'll kill anybody. It'll kill a whole squad. It's very. It's the, probably the most powerful weapon in the game. No aim, no precision necessary. It's mainly for base rating. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're not taking the 357 because we don't... We don't, First off, the 357 can't use a... Uh, for whatever reason, that gun... I don't like that gun. I'm going to remove it, that Kunin 357 thing. But for some reason, that doesn't take a suppressor, so it's like there's no reason to even use it. Nobody uses a pistol without a suppressor. I mean, come on. This is 2022. Yeah, this is a hardcore server, but you can see, like, I, how long have I been playing? Six out, six hours or so? And this is what I've got. Plenty of food, explosives, sniper weapons, rocket launchers, plate carrier. I'm, I'm literally so decked out. I've had enough nails, too. I could have built a base. I had a code lock there. See, just in six hours, I, I could have had enough to build a base and raid a base. And I already did raid one base. So it's not too hard even for a solo, which is important, very important that solos have a ch fighting chance on the server. Solos are the backbone of DayZ. <laughs> I just made that up, but it's probably true. All right, let's check this place out, see if we see anybody. I want to try to rocket somebody again, that was so fun. I would have killed the second guy too if he... The second guy... I shot the first guy, I killed him with the RPG. I mean with the rocket launcher. And I would have killed the second guy if I had the rocket launcher out, but I didn't. I had a different gun out for whatever reason. It would be bad if I fire this and I shoot a, a leaf or something to blow myself up. I guess that's possible. Yeah, I get that the pistol's considered a secondary, but... I don't use it. I don't know of anybody that uses it that way. And the reason is because a pistol going against any weapon that's not a pistol is... You're going to lose every time. I'm, I don't think I've... I rarely see clips of anybody with a pistol killing somebody with the with the long rifle or a full auto or anything. It's very rare. All these zombies. A lot of zombies. Let's go check the, the tents down here. <laughs> I am a dangerous man. <laughs> I think I'm the only one on the server that actually uses this as like a, a personnel killing weapon. Everybody else saves it for base rating. I, I feel like I could take on anybody with this. Alright, let's just try to get a view over the tents and see if we can see anybody looting, see any dead zombies, any sign of anything. See some live zombies already. I'm not interested in looting anything right now. We've been looting all day. We just need to go for PvP at this point. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Tizzy's just never been very good for PvP, though. There's, there's a zombie way over there. It's just never been very good because it's so far away that people... People don't really make it here, for the most part. I think we're going to have to go to Northwest to actually get any action. Which is fine with me. Let's go. It's not far.
Yeah, there's nobody here. I'm not gonna loot it right now. I don't I don't even need I don't really need anything. Got plenty of ammo. Got plenty of armor. Got clothes, got food. I am good. I'm fully geared. The good thing about the laws is is to just fire and forget. Yeah, exactly. You honestly don't even have time to forget. You just fire it and everything blows to smithereens instantly. <laughs> I guess the in-laws fire and forget. This one is just kind of like fire dead. Ooh, I would love to see a car coming down this dirt road. Oh... That would make my day. See you guys, that's how you know these streams aren't staged. Because if it was staged, there would be a car come down this right now. Now I would shoot it. I put it on TikTok and it would go viral. <laughs> what would be the strictest spec requirement to play on PC? <clears throat> I would say, um... The most important thing for DayZ would be your graphics card or CPU. Central processing unit. The DayZ is not as CPU intensive as it used to be. Now it's more... I think it relies more on your graphics card now, but I don't know for sure. There is a point, though, that... um. There's certain graphics cards, like once you get a certain graphics card, it doesn't matter upgrading your graphics card anymore. You're going to get this pretty much the same performance. So, like any kind of RTX 260 or higher is pretty much going to be the same from what I from what I can probably tell. From my I like I have two PCs with I have two PCs with RTX cards and they both play Daisy the same. This is the stream PC and it, ha it gets the same amount of frames as my other one, which is way way better. Oh my god. Guys, I know where our base is we could raid. And it's very close to here as well. The only thing is, I don't know if I'll have enough explosives and stuff to actually get into it. I only have the one plastic explosive and then the law rockets, of course. Which probably aren't going to be enough to get inside of it. There's a base, though, at Novaya Petrovka. And I got killed there when I was playing off stream. Um... Not that long ago. And I think it was the guys that have a base there. I could go there and, like, shoot it, blow their base up. I just don't have enough. I think I need to go to the green room maybe maybe once more. Get another plastic explosive to do it. We do have the jammer as well. I could probably get in one door with that. Then ex use the plastic explosive and maybe damage another one. I don't know. It's just, like, just right up there. Or should I go for PvP at the airfield? I don't know which I should do. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go to the airfield. Yeah, let's go to the airfield. <laughs> I did drop the raid hammer, I did, yeah, because it was too heavy. There's no reason. Yeah, let's not raid, I guess. We'll let him we'll let him live for now. Come back another day. I don't even know if it was those guys. I just think it was because I got shot at a heli crash near that base. Oh, okay, what time is it? 10.15? Oh, God. Guys, I got a stream tomorrow. I might have to call it here, actually. We've been playing... How long have we been playing? A very long time. I don't remember when we started. I like the stream's been going on, but I, I'm streaming all day tomorrow, so I don't even know if I'll have time to make it to the airfield. I need to get off here and go and get some rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be switching, uh, we're going to be playing on multiple servers tomorrow. Like, when I die on one on one map, I'm going to switch to another map. That's the, that's the plan. I need to come up with a name. I need to come up with a cool name for that kind of stream. The Switcheroonie or something? I don't know. So, something cool. I'll have to think about it. 
What? I just got here. Skeleton. I'm sorry. Dude, I've been streaming for so long. We put out a... Oh, there's another heli crash. Oh my god. All right, we're going for the heli crash. Screw it. Last thing, though, then I've got to get off. I want to go check out the heli. The third one today. So that better be a heli crash. Yeah, it is. It's kind of near northwest, isn't it? Well, we're heading up there anyways. Wait a second, is that the same heli I was at earlier? No, it's not. It's different. It's different. Oh, I would love for a car to come down the road right now. A big Humvee or something. One of the modded Humvees full of like a fully geared squad. On their way to a raid. No, on their way back from a raid. Oh, baby. Never. That stuff never happens to me, though. I just gotta make sure if I do get shot at, I just gotta make sure I let them, I shoot one rocket off at him before I go down. So I can guarantee kill somebody. That's the most important thing. It's up here. And where is a EpiPen when you need one? Don't have one. It's not gonna be anything good here, but it's worth checking them anyways. You never know. You never know. Seventy out of eighty. So it's over full. It's basically a vanilla full pop. It's actually over vanilla full pop. So this is in a pretty good spot too. Like I don't think a lot of people would loot this one. We'll see. stay a little bit longer just to loot the crash though and then I, I've got I mean I'm streaming a long time tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a crazy stream so we gotta we need our need our beauty sleep I might just go loud on these zombies there's too many infected I don't want to fight them it's a Russian heli actually let's avoid the zombies let's see if we can just sneak in there Good one to camp to. It's been looted. Let's go. It's been looted. Hundred percent. Probably by um, somebody living in Avaya because it's kind of near there. They would have heard it. I don't know. All right, there's Northwest Airfield. We'll head there next stream. That's the plan. Then um, while I'm there, I'll look for another key card and we can maybe get some more rockets or something if we find a green one. I don't know. We'll see. But um, tomorrow's stream, we're going to start off. We're going to be playing on... Did I say Namalsk? Yeah, I think I'll do Namalsk first. Then we'll do... Then we'll switch over. If I die, we'll switch over to... Um, what's that map called? 
I forget. That one map, and then we'll, if I die there, I'll switch over to, back to this character. Then if I die here, we'll switch to another one. I don't know. We'll just keep doing it. That's the plan. Alright, I'm gonna log here. I bet zombie's not still chasing me. Be good. Yeah, it's late. I gotta get off here. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow will be a big day, so. Don't worry, guys. We'll be back. Yes, death roulette. I like that. Death. Death roulette. Yeah, guys, um, appreciate everybody's patience with me. Um, I know I wasn't active for a week. I had COVID, so, uh, wasn't able to stream as much as I would have liked. Like, literally, I just, I could not even, I had no energy the first couple days of that. It was horrible. And what's worse was I got it, like, right before the streams were supposed to start. I got it on, um, I think I, yeah, I think I got it on Wednesday, and I stream on Thursday, so I just missed the whole streaming, streaming time, but, um, yeah, we're back at it, so I'm glad we got rid of it now before exper experimental happens next week. That's what we'll mainly be grinding next week is all experimental. That'll be fun. 1.19 update. Yeah, guys, I uh, hope you have a good rest of your weekend. I'll see you tomorrow, those of you that hop in for a good old Sunday stream. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head off to bed after I eat. But, um, yeah, thanks, guys, for coming in. Thanks for all the donations, guys, all the new members. I really appreciate it, dudes. And I will see you tomorrow.